Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about Superman Returns and talk about where it went wrong, what it could have done better, and the future of Superman in films in general. Today on Hack the Movies. Superman will wrong! Prison Mike, I know you've been out of the clink for a few months and you're ready to go back to doing shady stuff like harvesting information for some data brokers, but you're going to have trouble with today's sponsor, Aura. What's Aura? It's how I protect my data from hackers, scammers, and spammers. It constantly monitors the dark web looking for your emails, passwords, and social security number, and sends alerts to your phone or email when they find anything. It will request to remove your information from data brokers and reduce the spam and robocalls you receive. It also acts as a VPN and has an antivirus software. I'm running a scam right now. Maybe I'll just steal someone's identity or credit cards. That might seem like a Chad move to a criminal, and there is a new victim of identity theft every 14 seconds, which costs the average victim over $1,000. But Aura will send alerts of suspicious activity and transactions to the cardholder which will be bad news for you. I'm friends with some bad dudes. I think I might need protection. Where do I sign up for Aura? Go to Aura.com slash hack the movies or click our link in the description. If you do it now, you'll get a two week free trial and see for yourself how many times Aura finds you or your family members info on the dark web. Protect yourself now with Aura. Hello, Frank. How are you? Great, Tony. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to have you here. What a, what a time for Superman yeah. these days. Yeah, a lot of news coming out these days. A lot of changes happening. I feel like Superman is returning all the time. He is going to return to his own film in Superman Legacy that James Gunn is now pioneering the whole DCU. Uh, so he's returning to the big screen. But before that, he returned to the big screen in the Black Adam post credit sequence. Stop it. Can't wait to see all those adventures they have. Stop it. Oh, uh, what a letdown. You knew it was going to fall through from the beginning. You know what I mean? Was it was like, just to get people to go see Black Adam. Let's be real. But fingers, didn't work. fingers crossed. Didn't work. I watched it like two James months after it's streaming. I, I did know. not get me to go to the theater. Uh, but before that, he also returned to his own TV series with Superman and Lois. Loved it. And before that, returned to the TV series in Supergirl. He made his, he made his live action TV Reintroduction there. And Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was that, that one. Because that's technically Superman returns and returns again. Exactly, exactly. And then, and then, he also returned in uh, to the big screen in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Yep. Yep, uh. yep, yep. Because, you know, they really, they thought they fumbled and they, they were like, you know what? We're going to get it right this time. And it sucked. And before whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was begging to review Man of Steel and, and, today. And before that, he returned to the big screen in 2006 and Superman returned. He just won't. He never sticks around. He only returns and then he leaves and then he returns. It's because Warner Brothers has no trust, man. They just want to keep on rebuilding. Well, Speaking did, they, did they even read this script before they shot this? Speaking of uh, Warner Brothers not knowing what to do, uh, this movie took a real... It took them a really long time after Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, to do another Superman movie. In, they did a TV show in between yeah. <clears throat> with Dean Cain. That's actually Johanna's favorite Superman. She tells me all the time. Really? Yeah, she's like, I love Dean Cain. I mean... He's great, and she she says I follow him on social media, and I agree with everything he says. That's what Johanna says. He's definitely great and a nice guy, but I don't know about uh, the best Superman uh, of all time. If that's where she's going, that's a little. Rough. He actually probably is one of my favorite Superman. Like, he was my one. first exposure to Superman, and I like that incarnation. But, I mean, of him. think about the age right there. You know what I mean? Like you're growing up. What are you nine, eight years old? I was watching younger when the... Superman and Lois yeah, was exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're watching that because we used to watch the, the show every Monday, Tuesday yeah. night as a family, as a kid. Yeah, it was awesome. So it was good. But, I mean, it's nothing like uh, Henry Cavill, Zack Snyder's uh, Man of Steel. Yeah, it's good, unlike yeah, yeah. what you just said. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, it took him a really long time to develop a Superman movie. We're not going to dwell on that too much. There is a documentary, uh, The Death of Superman Lives, where they talk about all those versions. I actually review that many, many years ago. Like really? When it came out, I yeah. reviewed that. I don't know if that review is still on, that cha on this channel. Wow. If yeah. it's still on this channel, I'm going to watch it because this is before I was a famous and I'm going to see if I said anything. <laughs> and if it's OK, I'll link to it here. Uh, and if it hasn't aged well, I'm deleting that shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that scrubbing the Internet. <laughs> that scrubbing one. the Internet. 
This was in development for what, 10 years? 10 years they were? Yeah, and it went through so, like not right? Superman Returns. Yeah, yeah, trying to get Superman back. Trying to get Superman, screen. like John Peters, yeah. apparently. John Peters and Michael Uslan, they are so lucky because they got like got like certain film rights and like they don't do anything. Oh, but every single movie that has Superman or Batman, one of them is just they get credit for it. Yeah. It always says like produced by Michael Uslan or produced by John Peters. And John Peters famously with Kevin Smith is the one who said, I want to have Superman fight a spider. Uh, I want to have this. Really? Yeah, that's he didn't what, want him to wear the suit. It was that guy. Really? That's but that's where Tim Burton was heading with all that, right? Like, well, that's when he wanted. That's when Kevin Smith was that? aboard, and gotcha. then Tim Burton came. Aboard. Oh, because Kevin Smith was on there first. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. But remember, John Peters. He was. Oh, yeah. uh, I think he was involved with the Batman movies, and those aren't like, especially that second one is not like the comics. So when people are like, I can't believe you can have Superman fight a spider. I'm like, he made the Penguin a fish boy. Like, and he was like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> John I mean, Peters was insane. Danny DeVito still killed it, though. He got it together. <laughs> although, although, at the time, I didn't know this, but um, that story that Kevin Smith tells about, like, John Peters, like, acting like crazy, where, apparently John Peters, I think even in that documentary, he's like, I never said any of that. Like he, I never watched the documentary. Oh, it was good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, I still got to watch it. I gotta, I gotta it was watch. good. Uh, I have some criticism of it. They, the Tim Burton interview should have been the most important thing, and yeah. it shot, like, garbage Damn. it's like really you didn't bring a crew to the most important shoot of yeah. the whole thing yeah i just can't find myself to watch uh to watch that i don't know why i can't tell you why but okay probably because it was too horrible yeah the documentary no just the idea of it all as a whole oh and okay. then bringing nick cage in and, and all the rest of it right because that's all linked right yeah yeah, yeah. the link the cage nicholas cage thing was linked to the tim burton one yeah his suit looked really good when they have, released the pictures. What would you have rather seen? Would you have rather seen the Tim Burton one released, or, would, or were you happy with this one as a whole? That's a tough question. Would that have been just exciting I want to see Superman Flyby, directed by Mick G and written by J.J. Abrams. There you go. Which yeah, was yeah. literally, like, about to go into production. Yep. And, like, Mick G didn't want to shoot in Australia or something. He didn't, wanna, he didn't want to fly or something like that. So they were projected to shoot in Australia to begin with? Was I think so. I think so. And I think I Kevin know. Spacey might have been signed on for an... Er like, I think he was considered for the Tim Burton one. So he was Lex Luthor from the beginning. So Yeah, they didn't audition of, him Out of anything. all the changes that were made through yeah. all the different hands and, and you yeah. know, directors and whatever, it was always Kevin Spacey being Lex And Luthor. there is a budget for this movie, but sometimes they're like... All right, this budget only factors in what was meant for just specifically this movie. But if you factor in all the stuff that went into previous incarnations that never got developed, yeah. it's probably one of the most expensive movies ever made. It, at the end of the day, I think it was 330 some million. And at the end of its movie run, it made 363 million in theaters. Like worldwide? So, like, they only made what 30 million dollars yeah worldwide yeah it didn't so it didn't made, like, yeah, $30 yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that toward the end yeah, yeah i'm just saying it's just um, crazy just to start yes, it off with that but know? yes i was really hyped for the movie at the time i don't know about you i don't remember i don't know i was big into batman i was like i, I, I well that was, was the thing so at this point i'm like old enough to like go to the store and buy comics so i'm getting yeah. real into comics at this point yeah batman begins came out that people forget we're Very gonna beautiful. review that one day um, people forget uh, the uh, the first prequel to the best Batman movie, Batman Begins. When that came out, like no one was really super hyped for it because no. they were like, "Oh, they're doing another Batman." Yeah. Those last ones sucked. And then, like, remember, it wasn't a big hit right away. Don't Word think, of mouth really helped that. I one. don't think I even saw it in in theaters. I don't even think I saw this in theaters. I just so it wasn't. Oh, I saw both in theaters. Yeah, but um, no, Batman Begins had like a word of mouth, and that was like the first week it was okay, and then it like shot up. Yeah. So people are like, okay, wait a minute. This was really good. It's like, oh, now Superman is returning. Yes. Now there were more eyes on this. Yes. If this had came out before Batman Begins, maybe it would have had like a better reception. Maybe. I mean, if anything, you would think that Batman, you know, coming out a year before help, would would have helped it. Yeah. Especially attaching it onto the Donner, you know, to the Donner movies and saying like, oh, mm. well, it's a runoff off of those. You know, yeah. you get all the people from the childhood. You know, you know what probably it. didn't help Batman Begins initially was having Catwoman come out the year before. I probably was that the year before? Was yeah. That, was that 2004? Yeah. You think everyone was expecting Halle Berry to show up? I remember on the internet at the time, people <laughs> rumors they thought they were connected. But no, Catwoman's oh, technically yes. connected to Tim Burton's Batman. Oh, Will Halle man. Berry be in the flat? <laughs> Uh, I hope so. I don't know why she wasn't on Crisis on Infinite Earths on the CW. Now that is but, that that is a throwaway. Just yeah. go to Catwoman Earth real quick and yeah. then just have it be destroyed. But but this movie for uh. me specifically, I feel like it was targeted at me specifically because I love the the Donner films. 
I'm saying his name right this time. Yeah. Uh, we reviewed the first one. We talked about whether you like that movie or not. We, we did. talked. And we I got talked. I got a little you know, <laughs> out of hand. I didn't. I wasn't a fan of the first. But one. But whether so. you like it or not, it is yeah, yeah. like what we said. The most influential. Yes. So it like it was yes. a blueprint for a lot of superhero films later on. I agree. Uh, so I love this continuity. The good thing about it, you could skip the origin, or so you would think. You could skip the origin. No need to do many flashbacks. Right. 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 Anyway, uh, right. and it was directed by Brian Singer. Who? Brian, he was a director he used to be able to talk about <laughs> without an elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah. Brian Singer directed this, and huh. this is after he totally crushed it with X-Men 1 and X-Men 2. 2. He left X-Men 3. For this. For this. It, I mean, if And he, he took Cyclops with him. <laughs> yeah, and took Cyclops with him. Damn, the ball's on that guy. He wanted to bring somebody else with him, too. I forget who, who was it. <laughs> Hugh uh, Jackman. What if he oh, brought no. Hugh Jackman? <laughs> oh no! I'm just ah oh, God. Now I'm drawing a blank. He tried to bring someone else, but with the X3 contract, they, he couldn't go. But yeah. if you watch this film, I mean, the color palette and everything mm -hmm. to it, it looks like his like his X-Men. A little now the the X-Men movies are a little bluer, a little bit bluer. But like, the, there's a still, there's an issue with the coloring in it this. It still kind of has like that same feel. I mean, it's got it has a Brian Singer feel. Whatever yeah, that is, yeah. watching it, it's it's yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It, everything seemed right to me. So I, I went into this super pumped. Yeah. Uh, it stars Kevin Spacey, as we said, as Lex Luthor. Usual suspects. Everyone yeah. Everyone loved him. Ever. Yeah, and he's just like Brian yeah. Singer, he made a lot of good movies. I don't know what other comparisons there are to them. I know he uh, got replaced in a lot of uh, current <laughs> movies, too. He did. Not going there. He did. <laughs> Not going there, Tony. Uh, Kate Bosworth <laughs> as Lois Lane. Yep. I have some Wonderful. words about her Wonderful. later on. Frank Langella as Perry White. I like Frank Langella. Pretty cool that he came in. He's a good he's a good Dracula. Yeah. Of course, you know, he's with Superman in this, but he 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 interacted with another superhero, He-Man, in the live action He-Man movie. He huh. was Skeletor in the live action He-Man movie. He? Oh yeah, he was. Wow, you're full of knowledge, Tony. Uh distributed by Canon Pictures. Who? Who also distributed Superman for the quest oh, for really? peace. Ah, yep, yep, nice. yep. So they were also they were supposed to have um uh the guy from House be uh, Perry. Yeah, White. they wanted Hugh Laurie. Yes, Hugh Laurie. Yes. Yeah, and if you look at, if you remember Perry White from the 70s one, it's like, oh, I could have seen him being yeah. that Perry yeah, White. We have James Marsden as Perry White's nephew, Richard. Love it. Uh, Dick White. And then the kid from Detroit Rock City as Jimmy Olsen, which I think we have Detroit Rock City behind. Yeah, it's actually directly behind you, Detroit Rock City. <laughs> there, are now, there are now three layers of front-facing tapes. It used to just be two. Yeah. Huh. Anyway. Did you get uh, more movies? Huh? Did you get more movies? I did get more movies. Nice. <laughs> Didn't know who he was at the time, but Michael Doherty co-wrote this. He ended up writing um, Trick or Treat, Krampus. Right. He did a Godzilla movie that I enjoy, even though it's got some issues. Uh, mm -hmm. He went on to do some really, really cool stuff. Uh, yeah. And like I said, I loved this movie at the time. But over the years. You don't anymore? Over the years, I now share some of the complaints people had. Along with some of my own. And in retrospect, yeah. it wasn't the right way to bring Superman back. And we'll get into it right now. Um, but, so you didn't see it in theaters, like you said, right? So I didn't see it in theaters, and I haven't watched it in You seem to be really dreading watching this movie. Was it as bad as it, you remembered? Or? It wasn't dreading. It's just remembering all of like the you know complaints that people have had about it through the years. Uh, like I said, originally you said Superman. I was like, maybe Man of Steel. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I took orders from you and I said, okay, yeah. Superman return returns it is. <laughs> um, but I mean, I wasn't Frank, like... it's because Superman is returning again. <laughs> I mean, just like when we did Superman the movie. I was, you know, yeah. I haven't seen it in that one. I haven't seen it in years as well. So mm -hmm. I, dive, I dove back into it and, you know, yeah. enjoyed it. But it's not... There's just so much to nitpick and pull oh, yeah. apart from, from this film that, you know, I wasn't... Oh, yeah. Still had fun. The thing is, like, Brian Singer is not really, like, a comic guy. He really likes that movie. He really loves the original movie, yeah. as you could tell. As you could tell. But, like, you know, even, like, X-Men. He didn't write X-Men. Other people who knew the comics wrote X-Men. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hmm. But, yeah, so the movie starts. We get a nice opening text that brings us up to speed. Krypton blew up. Yep. Baby came to Earth. Became Superman. And then it says, astronomers thought they found Krypton. Superman went to space. I haven't seen him since. I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> we get it. Because everyone knows Superman's origin. Like, like Spider-Man and Superman have, like, the most known origin. And Batman as well. Well, Batman, if you think about it, the reason why Batman Begins was so good was because 
the only origin we knew about Batman, like in the mainstream outside of the comics, was his yeah. parents were shot. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, where, where'd the bat thing come from? Begins also did it so well. Well, that's the thing. That's why Begins was good at the time. If they did a Batman origin now, I'd be like, no, 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 no. We, we know. We know. Yeah. The public knows you now. You don't need it anymore. But yeah, Superman, like the cartoon had just come out previously, the 90s show. We were all yeah. up to speed. Yeah. But they couldn't help themselves. They had to show the fucking sun and Krypton exploding. I mean, that was a, it was very quickly brushed over. It was it was in the opening credits. You know, you just yeah. you, you zoom in, you see the sun exploding, and but I mean, also doesn't Krypton like fully explode? What did he? What does he go back to in that deleted scene? Sorry, there is a beginning deleted scene. There yeah, that well, he does well, see the this giant intro axe. with the sun exploding, I think, was yeah. added after the fact. Oh, okay, because there was an an original opening to this, yeah. which should have been in the movie. And yeah. Brian Singer is stupid for cutting it out. Yeah. And he's like, well, the movie's already too long. It's like, you could have cut out a lot of other stuff. Yeah. So originally, uh, Superman wakes up in his spaceship, big crystal spaceship, uh, in his gray suit. I remember they showed all that gray suit and all the advertising, like in yeah. a lot of like merchandise. It's in the video game. It looked good. And then when you watch the Marshall. movie, he's barely in it. Yeah. Um, he wakes up, he goes to Krypton. Uh, he sees the big S. Uh, but then he realizes that the kryptonite there is killing him. Is killing him. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, this place is dead. Early I mean, I knew work. that, but because an astronomer said it might be around, I decided to check it out. <laughs> might as well take five years and head on out here. Yeah. I probably could have made one of those crystal things like a satellite go and does, then come back, but I felt the need to personally go. Does Superman eat? What these are these are important questions <laughs> that we don't have time to answer. He also Frank. didn't grow a beard or anything like that, you know. Just wondering. I mean, he, I know he is in a super technologic. I think know, he was like, show. yeah, I think he was like, uh, what is it, stasis Frozen or whatever? And, yeah, and, yeah, 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 gotcha. But sorry. Dumb so point. as he's being injured, he's trying to fly away, and his ship takes damage. And for me, that explains why he was gone for so. I don't think he ever intended to be away for five years. So if you knew that going in, like, oh, he didn't mean to be away this long. It was a horrible accident. Yeah. It it recontextualizes the film as like this tragedy. Like, yeah. Because as it is now, Lost Superman comes off as a real fucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? I went away five years and everyone <laughs> just moved on. It's like, well, yeah. What did you think was going to happen? I don't everyone think he totally took like took it like that in the beginning of this film. No, I mean, but we'll the, get to it. No, but, no, no, no. no just, but I'm saying like this deleted scene shows like that wasn't his intention. It was an accident. Yeah. So if you knew that going in as an audience member, you're like, oh, I feel bad. Like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. But, but I remember audience at the time were like, Superman's kind of an asshole. He just assumed everyone would yeah. wait for him. It's like, no. I guess he did have to rebuild his ship, right? Because when he was destroyed, when it was destroyed in that, uh, in the deleted scene, all the, um, you know, points on it, all like all broke yeah. off. And when he lands back on Earth, the points, there's still three points yeah, on Yeah, I think maybe like destroyed. he was just like real injured right. and he needed and to like to heal first. Yeah. And there might have been, well, yeah. in the video game, which I'll talk about later. Does it, this week. Does it have this part in the video game as in well? In the video game, as he's flying, uh, Mongol picks him up and makes him fight really? on, uh, what was it, War World? Is that his plan? Yeah, yeah, War yeah, World. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's, that's like a part They should have the... put that in the film. Yeah, you know what, Frank? <laughs> they probably should. Maybe have. Brainiac was out there, Mongol. Like, give me something like I'll that. I'll talk more about the Superman Returns game this week when I do uh, Just Like the Movie on Superman Returns for the PlayStation 2. I'll tune in. So then the film, as it is in the theatrical version, Krypton blows up, and then we get the POV of his ship going to Earth over the credits. And I like hearing the theme and the the, yeah. the classic, like, you know, the, yep. the names flying at the screen. Takes you back. But it's like, okay, it's just him going to Earth. I'm like, we've seen this in the first movie. This would be cool to see, like, maybe, like, a highlight reel of, like, things that Superman did yeah. between Superman 2 and now. I mean, it was, it, it's 10 seconds. Yeah. Like, no, it's, like, a few minutes long. All right. It's, yeah. like, a, it's, like, 60 seconds long. But it's, <laughs> it's kind of cool because you're, you're going with his journey back to Earth. I mean, what, it, what really are you going to show other than, you know, it's what pushes the film a little bit forward and shows you, you know, what's coming. You know, you're heading back towards Earth and now you get the crash and, yeah. you know. So. No, that's not even the crash. The beginning is his origin of him going to Earth. It's not even him coming back to Earth. Oh. Yeah. That's weird, right? Wait a minute. The shot of it coming into Earth and like, no. that's I think just, that's, that's just him. his origin because then he doesn't land until like a few scenes later. That's him coming back. What's the next scene after? The next scene after is Lex Luthor. Yeah. 
Lex it's Luthor. It's him coming back because Superman returns. I guess. I guess. It's uh, the his way, second time. The fact time. that they showed Krypton blowing up, I made it made me think it was the first time he goes. No, down. it's just to show again that uh, it blew up. And yeah, now because the, that's why they needed the deleted scene in it. That's there right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, the fact, fact I can't believe they were like, "Well, we got to show it blow up again." I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, you guys realize like Star Wars was re-released a few years ago with like special effects added with planets blowing up. Like this isn't as impressive to us now. But anyway, uh, I will say John Ottman's score is really, really good. Yeah. He does a really good job of taking that John Williams score and kind of like bringing it back and making it its own. He said he grew up on uh, on John Williams and he said once he was given the chance to do this, he, he was, you know, all in and fell in love with it. Yeah, he did a great job. Um, so, yeah, Lex Luthor, we find out he's tricking an old lady. Played by uh, Noelle Neal from yep. uh, the original Lois Lane from the TV show, who yes, also sir. had a cameo in Superman the movie. Yes, sir. Uh, she, she's like, I wrote to you in prison, and you showed me pleasure. <laughs> if you really want to show Lex Luthor being a bad man, yeah. it's stealing an old but, 90-year-old woman's while, money. While the family is <laughs> yelling at him. <laughs> Like 50 of them in the hallway. Open the door. Open the door. They couldn't have kicked down that door. Plus, I know. And then he forges the signature. And then, yeah, he does forge. She, die- she doesn't quite finish the signature. By the way, I think you need a notary public there. I think you need a witness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think it's that easy. No, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have got away with it. <laughs> wouldn't, have, wouldn't have happened. <laughs> so, yeah, she makes her sign it. Um, Comic book movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she has two Pomeranians. Yes. Important to remember. This Lex Luthor now is totally fine being bald. You can keep that. The rest is mine. That Lex Luthor, the Lex Luthor we knew, the Gene Hackman, Hackman. he didn't didn't like being bald. He wore wigs all the time. Yep. That's because the actor was like, I don't want to be bald. You think that's that's why they put Jesse Eisenberg in long hair? Well, to kind of go with the Gene. No, 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 no. Well, Sorry, now d- I'm jumping different films. No, so no, no, yeah. no. Well, earlier, like when God. you ever see like Lex Luthor as a young person, yeah, depending yeah, on what yeah, continuity yeah. you're reading, he's usually oh. depicted with long red long hair. hair. Yeah. So yeah, he likes being bald, and he leaves with um, Parker Posey mm-hmm. as his new girlfriend, Kitty Kowalski. I don't know what happened to Miss Teschmacher no or idea. Otis. Maybe they died. I don't know. Now you got Brutus. <laughs> yeah, now you got like yeah. even scarier bad guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really like Parker Posey. We talked about her. Yeah, in Blade Trinity, she was probably one of the best parts of that shit right. film. That's right. Uh, Parker that Posey's film. good. Parker Posey's really, really good. She's, she's in some bad movies, but she's yeah, always yeah. really good. She always reminds me of um, Elizabeth Banks a little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Hunger Games, kind of, you know, over the top and is kind of like that. She that's does what have an kinda, Elizabeth Banks that's look. That's what it kind of yeah. reminded me of. Yeah. 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 Great in Lost in Space. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. We see a man leaving Martha's house. I thought I saw that. And he's yeah. saying, bye, Martha. Yeah. Late night booty call. Yeah. Late uh, night booty call. Where is it? Am I going to knock Good it Good for you, Martha Kent. Am I going to knock it down with him? No. What do you got? That character is called Ben Hubbard. That is the guy in Superman the movie when uh, Clark is about to go on his adventure, The Fortress of Solitude. He tells his mom, he's yeah. like, I told Ben Hubbard to take care of you, uh-huh. blah, blah. So in between, she ended up having a relationship uh-huh. with him. They cut out almost all his scenes. Oh, uh, poor Jonathan. Oh, yeah, poor uh, Jonathan. Poor Jonathan. They cut out almost all his scenes, and he was played by James Karen from Return of the Living Dead, who died a few years ago. Really? So he had scenes in it? Yeah, he had scenes. He had a wow. lot. He had a, Well, not a lot. He had a few scenes. If I a- watched a two-hour and 30-minute film, how long was the, was the actual cut? Four hours? Probably even longer. Jeez. A lot of the deleted scenes yeah. aren't even on the DVD. I had to hunt them down. Like, that really? opening scene we talked about? yeah, yeah somehow made it online in 2011. It wasn't a part of any Blu-ray or anything. Yeah. There's still some missing scenes, which I'll talk about as we go through this. Ryan Singer did. Yeah. Uh, but no, I like James Karen. So when I was watching the deleted scenes, I'm like, oh, I like him. <laughs> I kind of wish he was in the movie. <laughs> well, supposedly Martha did too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she liked him a lot. Uh, but no, it's just funny. I'm like, oh, that's I really enjoy that actor. And I totally forgot they like cut him out of this. You yeah. see him at the end. Dorant, like when they're outside of the hospital, the it's hospital. like, who's that guy that's like all up on Martha? <laughs> oh man, I wish I knew that. There was also, I mean, there's another deleted scene yeah. there. Yeah, there's so many. Sorry. But yeah. there's a whole thing where she's playing Scrapple with him and she's like using words about like aliens and stuff because she's thinking about Clark. Yeah, because I saw that, that people yeah. were talking about that, that mm-hmm. there's like, you know, different words and that describe the film and they're like facts and yeah. this and that. They, uh, but was that not in it either? Was that. No, that was right. cut out. Her, you yeah, see, literally just you see the scrapple thing shaking when yeah. the thing's coming back, but you don't see them playing wow. the game. 
Uh, I remember like a lot of the trailers or the teasers wow. had that scene that got cut out. You flew in last week, eh? Superman crashes into the cornfield. Mm -hmm. Why would he not set the ship to go to the Fortress of Solitude? Why would he ever land his ship there? Back into that cornfield again? I know. I know the idea is they wanted someone who knew him to find him, and all, the only person on Earth who knows who he is is her. Yeah. But it's just like the Superman I know would be like, oh, well, I'm obviously not going to land my spaceship that I can't even really control at my mom's house. But also, like, like when he comes stumbling out, is he hurt from the crash, or is he hurt from still the kryptonite from It might be. All... He could also just be... He might have went to sleep, like, injured, yeah, and maybe the ship was right. rebuilding itself over time. Yeah, and he came uh, out of a cryogenic sleep. And yeah, but if you think of... about it, he hasn't been hit with, like, actual sun in forever. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. you're right. Yeah, so... Yeah, um... So, yeah, he's not subtle about his reentry. He's alerting everyone on Earth where he is. It's not as bad as leaving your mom alone with five Kryptonians to blow up a 7-Eleven. That would be a worse Superman. But anyway, oh. <laughs> Lex and his crew go to the Arctic because one of the things he got in the death was a big yacht. He's got yeah. a giant, giant yacht. yacht. Good for him. <laughs> he is on a boat. I, w I, I just wanted to see him on the boat with the 90-year-old woman. I bet, they had, <laughs> I bet they had crazy parties, man. Jesus. Uh, so, yeah, he lectures us about the story of Prometheus and how he plans to use Krypton's technology to change the world. We learn literally. Uh, and then Kumar. Yep. Kumar. Forgot that. Forgot Cal Penn was in this. Yeah, movie. it tells him that they arrived at the fortress. I think he has two lines, but he is in it. Yeah. Uh, and everything, the visual effects are really good in this. Not so much the CGI body doubles, which we'll get to, but like the the set, like the scenery and stuff. Like yeah. Forge of Solitude looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Even I that mean, island at the end looks really, really good. A lot of it's like, you know, I mean, not like for Forge of Solitude as much, but a lot of it's practical effects. They built, they, yeah. they. Well, there was like a big set that they had there. Dude, and yeah. They had like over 60 sets when they were shooting in Australia. They mm -hmm. were supposedly taking up like five or six sound stages when they were doing it. Like it was a huge and production. And I, I think they might have used some miniatures too for a, some of this. I'm not sure. Because uh, this is still so back when you would use miniatures yeah. like Lord of the Rings. And yeah. so, like The effects for some of these scenes are like on par with like some of the establishing shots of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Uh, they wake up Marlon Brando. They this is before did. it was pop. It, bringing back dead actors to to you know siphon money of, out of them, that's always been a thing, by the way. I can't believe the Brando estate let them do it. Yeah, I can believe it. Like, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because his character guess. is dead. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, this has always been a thing. Like, there is a like a bunch of movies after Bruce Lee died that just try to capitalize off him. Kept using. Uh, but now it's like a thing. Now they're doing it all the time. Yeah. Like Howard Ramis and that new terrible Ghostbusters movie. That was like, didn't see it. It's off. It's on the list. But yeah, I mean, using. It's getting kind of scary, whether yeah. it's whether it's dead actors or these, um, what's it called, the, the face. Um, yeah, like the deep fake. Yeah, the yeah. deep fake and all that. Oh, boy. If the actor was fine with it and the, the estate was fine, yeah. apparently Stan Lee let them scan his face really? to do stuff, but they haven't really done anything with it yet. The Fortress has terrible security. We Just learned this in Superman, too. He's really got to get a door for the fucking walked thing. Walked right in through the front door. Yeah, as always. Yeah. All of his villains always walking right in through the door. The comics, some comics, the, there's some Superman comics, I think you know what I'm talking about, where he has a big door to the Fortress yeah, of Solitude. A giant key. And a giant key <laughs> that only he or another Kryptonian can lift. Yeah, love that. Yeah. Uh, they put it in the big thing. But, like, Superman in the movie, because, like, yeah, in Superman 2, Lex Luthor takes his balloon he's like ah there we go we're walking in it's like get a fucking door and you think he would have learned after superman 2 <laughs> yeah i mean brian singer was very loose on a lot of i know that it's comic book movies but yeah. i mean you gotta you gotta add those scenes in there that yeah. help it make a little bit more sense you were asking me i think before we recorded is what it, you think it you thought only the first movie was in continuity yes but no it two is considered canon because What's her face says, it feels like you've been here before. Yes. Because Lex Luthor in the movies was. But yeah, it's yeah. only just one and two. Because Lois Lane at the end of two forgets who uh, Clark Kent is, that Clark Kent Superman. Yes, she he finds uses out the, depending on yes. what version you want. And that's yeah, why yeah. they might have been more vague. Yeah. Because Richard Donner was re-editing Superman 2. Yeah. The best thing about this movie is we got to see the Donner cut of Superman 2. Yeah, yeah. Um, just watched it, some of those scenes today. They're yeah. awesome. 
Yeah, the ending where they had to use bot body belt. That was weird. But anyway, uh, depending on either ending, Lois had her mind wiped or whatever. Um, yeah, whatever you say. Yeah. But yeah, he wakes uh, Marlon Brando up and he's just like, yeah, tell me everything about crystals. And I guess he learns about crystals. Learns about everything from the beginning of time, supposedly. Also, I have a note here. So Lex doesn't know that Superman is returning. Why doesn't he just set up his base and test all that stuff there? And stay there. Huh. Instead of bringing it, everything that's instead there. Instead of bringing it back to the mansion, wouldn't you like test it out there? Well, no. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, why, yeah, why test it on the mansion to begin with? Why have to go through the trouble of taking off that little tiny piece yeah. to put it into the water just to see a tiny little miniature blow up? Put you're it in right. the what? Why not a tiny little miniature? No, 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 no. The piece and put it in the what? What does he put the piece in? In the water. What did I say? What water? Yeah, yeah, water. Is that a word? Yeah, yeah. What 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 what, what, what are? Where are you from again? Uh, it's, I'm from Kansas. <laughs> I just flew in. I think you're the only Philadelphian on this show who actually does say what are the rest of really? us don't. Yeah. I mean, I try to, you know, when I'm especially dude, when I'm acting and stuff, I, I stay away dude, and try dude, to stop I get made fun but, of like I was saying, uh, like, I, I don't really have a Philly accent except for words that end in AW. I turn them into L's. I can't I can't I can't get rid of that. I just I don't think about it. Like the only know, the only time I really think about it is yeah when I'm when I'm acting because if you don't want a Philly accent then I really I <laughs> gotta stay away from it. Oh boy. Anyway, anyway, yeah, he should just be testing all that stuff there. Turn oh. around and throw it into the ocean behind you. That way, if he has questions, he'd be like, "Hey, Marlon Brando's head. Can you give me some pointers <laughs> yeah. here? Can you tell me exactly what this is going to do?" <laughs> Wait, yeah, shouldn't he learn that in the moment? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Clark wakes up, and by the way, I forgot to mention when I was reading the cast, this stars Brandon Ralph. Yeah. Brandon Ralph. Love him. Who you could see in films like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which I reviewed on this channel. Fantastic film. Or Zack and Miri make a porno for five seconds. He's in there for five seconds. Does a great job. And then I couldn't believe I was in the thrift store and I'm like, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> Literally two days ago, I'm in the thrift store. I'm like, I got to get this. Some movie called Table for Three. Huh. <laughs> I've never seen it. But I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I'm That's after Superman. This is after Superman, I mean, Returns. Superman Returns. This is 2008. Yeah. So he he's waiting any day now. They're gonna call him to do because he didn't do much before Superman Returns. Like that's why they no. that's why they brought him on because he was a no name actor. Sophia and they... Bush, Jesse Bradford. There's, there's some people in this. <laughs> there's some people in this. Johnny Galecki's in this. Sophia Bush. Good for her. Yeah. So uh, everyone's uh, favorite. One Tree Hill. Yes. Brandon Routh from Table for Three. Uh, he's there. He was pretty much cast because he looks a lot like. Yeah. He looks like a more muscular version of Christopher, Christopher Reeves. Reeves. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they they wanted a, a you know a new face in there. Whoever mm. whoever else they were trying to bring. I mean, there was tons of different actors that they were trying to bring in. But I mean, yeah. did a great job, except for the fact that maybe he has ten lines this whole film. Well, that's a don't act like you're all high and mighty. Zack Snyder refused to have any character growth for fucking Clark Kent, especially <laughs> he at least especially in, full sentences, especially in Batman v Superman, where Ugh. he has let. He, in the theatrical cut anyway, oh. in Batman v Superman, he has less lines of dialogue than Spider-Man did in Civil War. Spider-Man isn't introduced into Civil War till like an hour and a half into that film. I get it, but I don't, there's just something about the way that, because Christopher Reeves at least would like mumble, like as, as Clark Kent would at least mumble and like go yeah. on about things like this. I mean, I understand that Superman just returned, but <laughs> he's got to, you know, he just doesn't speak enough. I don't yeah. know. It just, it's got a weird feeling to My me. issue with him, and I think I have a note for later, but I'll just bring it up here. Uh, his blue contacts, they're too blue. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't was, really think about it. I looked into this, like, what is it about contacts? Like, because your iris is, like, underneath the eye so when you put like a contact above the eye it like yeah. stands out more yeah and they were real distracting his blue eyes i'm like they were like too blue they're guess, freaking me yeah. out i didn't even I, I didn't even notice it i didn't even i guess realize it until i watched the making of this movie mm. and saw that every time that he went to do a scene he had to put his contacts yeah in. yeah so yeah he wakes up they cut out the scene where he's gonna bury the ship which is kind of which by the way they built that whole cornfield and built that like practical yeah. effect ship yeah and in the film, it's at night, and you can barely see it. 
because they cut out all the other scenes. So when he came out in the gray suit, I thought he was naked. I couldn't even like it you was kind of like didn't even suit. know he was wearing the gray suit yeah. at first. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's very dark and wow. I, didn't I only knew he was wearing the gray suit because some of the trailers featured footage from that scene. Yeah, and again, like the toys and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. If you saw him in stores, he was wearing the gray suit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, but the, my my problem with the scene where he goes to bury the ship. He, he shows up with a shovel, and I'm like, oh, fuck you. He's not using a shovel to bury that thing. He's just going to throw it into he the He literally ground. sits there with the shovel. I'm like, <laughs> no, no. I didn't see that deleted scene. Wow, I didn't know that he buries it under the cornfield. Hmm. Yeah, well, you don't actually see him burying it. And they um, had wonderful corn for the next 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> all, their, all their corn comes out as crystals. Right. It's like, what the hell's up with the corn? Like, what, he wakes up, he does that. Uh, but then they couldn't help themselves. They had to do a flashback to him using his powers? Like when, when he, he was, was a, a kid? kid? I kind of like that. It's kind of one of my favorite mov moments of the film. You yeah. didn't see that in the Donner films. Yeah, you saw him running. Remember, along the train, he was yeah, practicing yeah. running. But like, he didn't practice jumping, I guess. But like, first kind of flight, right? Like, it's like technically the first time that he learns how to fly. Yeah, you're not they, really sure when he learns to fly in the original so, version. I mean, I feel like with these with a Superman film, you should always kind of flash back a little bit, give us like something kind of cool. I kind of liked it. I don't know. If this was a Superman origin, I'd be like, oh, the scene's great. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I Except guess. for here is where as much credit as I'm giving the CGI, the CGI body doubles are real rubbery. Like when he's yes. on top of the, the the thing, the water tower, and then yeah. he like turns, you could tell right when he turns yes. into the CGI model. Which they shot all of that with yeah. the kid actually like running suspended. It was first, yeah. the kid was a first time actor too. Yeah. Had him suspended on a on a on a whole thing outside and was running through the corn and was jumping. Actually did those jumps, but I guess it didn't do well enough and like added in. The... I would have cut the whole sequence out. By the way, it went I longer. Don't know, dude. In the deleted scenes that are on the DVD, you see he sits there more. Really. And then, like, he uses x-ray, and he sees that there's, like, a thing underneath the floor. And finds then this isn't on the DVD. Yeah. He does find his ship, and he finds the crystal. I'm like, we don't, we don't need that. We saw that yeah. in the first movie. We don't yeah. need any of this. Well, maybe that's why he cut it. But when he did hit the, you know, went through the barn and was, and was there, mm -hmm. I mean... I didn't know about the deleted scene, but you know, you goes right yeah. to your head like, oh, that's he's gonna find the ship like in the barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I guess um, you didn't need it. So yeah, I don't think we needed it, especially yeah. for a movie this long. Like oh, you could have just trimmed that out. Oh god. I do like that they cut as much money as they wasted on that fake cornfield with the thing. I do like that he like just goes up to her and he's like, I buried it. <laughs> if you were wondering what happened to the ship, I buried it. We're good. Um, oh god. So yeah, oh, I have here Clark is mean to that dog. So that was the first scene that Brandon Routh shot yeah. all, all together. And yeah, you are correct. Because then the dog just runs out 10 yards and goes, okay, well, there goes my yeah. ball. And uh, you're going to hear me say this a lot. It's one of the issues with this movie. Hit me. I'm fine with it being in the Christopher Reeve, Dick Donner continuity. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. The problem is it keeps doing things that that movie did. did like, remember did. when he kicked the football and it went really far? Well, yeah. now he's going to throw the baseball like the first movie. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I, yeah, I know. And when you hear Brian Singer kind of talk about it in this making of it, he's all excited that he's touching on all these points from like the first from the original. Yeah. But it's like it's like Star Wars. You don't want to just remake a new yeah. hope all well, it's over like with again. The amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. When it's like, yeah, Andrew Carvey's going to be the new Spider-Man. It's like, oh, cool. He's. Getting bit by the spider again. All and, over again. Yeah. Oh, a guy mm. drops something. And he, literally, a guy drops something. He picks it up and they go, nice reflex. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, again. again. <laughs> I saw this. Good joke. I saw literally, that, that movie came out 10 years after the first one. I'm like, nah, it's still fresh. See, in my I head. thought that Superman was going to walk out of that airplane in the baseball field and catch his baseball. <laughs> <laughs> like he went that far. Went that far and that long. Later on, he's just like, oh, I would have been fucking aware. My ball. <laughs> um, my, my only my the only way I'll excuse this scene is uh, it was to let us know that that is, in fact, not Crypto the Super Dog, or else he would have caught it. Ah. I do like that it's a white, uh, what is it, white Labrador or whatever. If he took off flying. Uh. Did you see uh, DC, the, the League of Super Pets movie? I have not. Uh, I always uh, watch things after I see you. Oh, and in the deleted scene, he then goes into the basement. It's funny, they leave the delete this part of the deleted scene on the uh, DVD, yeah. and you see the ship is under a tarp, but he never 
you never you never see the scene of him opening up. Yeah. But he reads all the newspapers about like what happened since he's been away. That scene I actually wouldn't have minded in the movie. Hmm. Uh, but instead they cut to him like watching TV. Yeah. And seeing all the stuff. His mom is all like, "You shouldn't have left." I was so sad without you. Yeah. And he was like, mom, I'm cutting all your character scenes out of this movie. No one cares about you. <laughs> cutting out all your scenes with you and your boyfriend. I mean, I'm going back to Metropolis. Bye mom. He shouldn't have left. Yeah. And then he just bounces and that's it. Yeah. Right, and, guys, um, by. I do like Clark returns to the daily planet and only Jimmy is excited to see him. Yeah. Thank you for giving me my job. Back. Don't thank me. Thank Norm Palmer for dying. It was his time. They have good chemistry, and they ended up teaming up again in the movie called uh, Dead of Night, based off the Dylan Dog oh, comics. Yeah, yeah, Not very good. Yeah. Comics are great. Movie, not very good. Um, I like the guy who played uh, Jimmy Olsen in this as well. I think he did a great job. Sam Huntington, Sam I think, Huntington. is his name. Sam Huntington. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Check yeah. the Detroit Rock City. He was, a great, he was a great Jimmy Olsen. At least we got one in this film. He was good. He does have a hint of red in his hair, At but least it doesn't come off. go right. out into the desert and just get shot in the head, and then later Hey, on, that's your boy doing then it. later on, six months later, Zack Slander's like, oh, yeah, that was Jimmy Olsen. I like, couldn't go. believe it. When I saw Jimmy Olsen's name in the credit, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh yeah, Clark talks to a <sighs> photographer. Maybe that was Jimmy Olsen. Like, no, it's the guy who got shot in the yeah, head. Yeah, I'm upset about I'm it. I'm like, All no right. wonder the theatrical cut cut out his name because they're like you don't why did you shoot jimmy olsen then yeah. it's almost as if Zack snyder is like really bad with superman stuff Stop and shouldn't it. have been trusted i with like it. the film i don't like the choices <laughs> that doesn't make any yes, sense yes it does i can say the same thing about this or i like the film i don't like there's it. a few choices i don't like <laughs> apparently so. he only got his job back because a guy died i died. thought that was funny the guy died but there's actually some really good jokes now, that he's like that, that Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so no, you go. Did that have anything to do with uh, the, the murderous killer clown that was killing children? <laughs> the birthday clown massacre? I'm Whoa, like, I'm sorry. dude. I need to know more about that. <laughs> I mean, technically, so until you get to the end of the movie, that was Brutus, right? <laughs> that was Lex Luthor's. Maybe? Because, I don't know. <laughs> because he has um, the tattoo on the back of his head was the same tattoo that, uh, what was the serial killer clown? Wayne, Wayne John Gacy. Wayne Gacy? So John Wayne Gacy had that same exact tattoo. I don't know if it was on the back of his head. Oh, but I had then, no idea. Yeah. So that's supposed to put together that Brutus is the clown killer that killed all <laughs> those kids. That together at all. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to the scene at oh the end. Oh my but god! I, does, I thought that was a throwaway there, joke. There is another cool connection to it. I, I'll, I'll say it you're, you're, you're you're doing a deep dive. I into love this. deep diving, dude. So, love it. Technically, yeah, he a, sees the photo. It's a bro and broken family, dude. He just broke either Lois by being with Dick White broke yeah. Superman's family, or now Superman holding you know the picture and breaks it and yeah and i can tell like again i would be mad too if i got lost for five years and came back and the girl i like moved on and had a kid like i would be mad too understood but this again the version we're watching it makes it seem like i can't believe that woman got a new guy i thought yeah. she would wait for me it's After like five years it's yeah like, no superman she's she's gonna move on he wanted god she wanted someone to help raise her kid with her yeah. you know and, and grow old with who knew if superman was ever gonna come back she wanted love but she couldn't wait for me yeah what a dick yeah also the whole reason for him leaving uh because the astronomers thought they found krypton Apparently in the novelization, I don't know if this ever existed in the script, uh, that whole thing was uh, uh, a plant, like a planet story by Lex Luthor. Really? Apparently Lex Luthor got a bunch of people to fake stuff hmm. about Krypton maybe being there to trick Superman to go off planet. Just as a whole, I feel like... Like, I feel like you could have even added, like, Supergirl to this movie. Like, if he went out to Krypton, yeah. but then found, uh, uh, what's the city? Um, the Chandor? No, uh, so it starts with an A, I think. I forget, but yeah, I forget. Um, but find Supergirl, Argus or Argus, yes, or something Argo, like that. Yeah. Argo City, I think that's yeah. what it is. But well, well, that's a bigger question. All right, three and four might not be in continuity, but is the Supergirl movie in continuity with this? That's what I want to know. So I hear there's some kind of reference to it, whether through a newspaper or something like that. But I think it was just like you <laughs> the know, the Supergirl like, movie is terrible. it was like a playful thing. But <laughs> if he goes out there at the beginning of the movie and finds Supergirl and brings her back, yeah. I don't know. I feel like you could have added a lot more to this. They were than planting just some seeds because the mom said he's like, oh, it was a graveyard, and she's like, well, it's a big universe. Yeah. So hinting yeah. like there might be some yeah. other Kryptonians when out Superman there. returns. A Again, then <laughs> Supergirl will show up. Good. So they went with a weird design for Metropolis. They're doing kind of the Tim Burton y and even like the new Batman, where it's like a little bit of old and a little bit of new. Yeah. But like the Richard Donner Superman was like, hey, I want to have Superman kind of like what Christopher Nolan did. Like I want yeah. him in a relatable modern environment to like bring Superman in the modern day. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're being a sequel with that, it should look a little bit more modern. Instead, I don't mind the look of the movie. I'm just saying, yeah. if, like, if I'm supposed to believe this is the same universe, then this looks really yeah. weird because yeah. they don't look like this anymore. So, like, the set designers and costumers said that they were running off of... They were trying to mix it all together from the mm. 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and, and you know, to modern, to where yeah. they wanted to give it that feel to where you don't know, like, what era yeah. it is, I guess. Which, but, again, Burton did, and yeah, the new Batman yeah, movie yeah. kind of did. But, but you're right. It's just, it doesn't... It but if, if I'm supposed to watch, like, the first Christopher Reeve movie and then this, I'm going to be like, all right, something yeah. happened to Metropolis. <laughs> looks weird. What happened? It's, it's like when you watch Batman 89 and then, like, Batman Forever, you're like, wait, what? Well, they did... <laughs> what happened here? The Dark Knight series, they did shoot in Chicago, and then they shot in Pittsburgh. And, so, <laughs> and like, New York a yeah, little bit. And, and L.A. A bit, so, yeah. um, why is Clark hiding a suitcase in the closet? Why is he hiding a suitcase in the closet? Well, I'll talk about it when we get there, but this is a setup for an entire deleted sequence, and they just left the setup in. I don't know. Maybe because they like that one gag where he turns on the light, and there's the cutout of Frank Langella. <laughs> but yeah, this whole scene makes no sense it's his suit in the suitcase yeah, yeah. but but we find out he's already wearing it and yeah, he's he never always wearing it yeah. yeah he's always wearing when we get to the scene i'll explain what was supposed to happen yeah i'd love to know but for some reason they left the setup in it's like no cut this out cut this uh, out you don't need this you I cut out like, everything else i feel like there's a lot of that like even yeah. even just short things cut out that they probably shot that like just a five second clip you know what really i think was the problem with a lot of the movies at this time Lord of the Rings like kind of brought back the epic film yeah. and it was very long. So I feel like a lot of people who were doing these epic big films were like, well, it needs to be long yeah. to get people to stay in the it needs seats to be a cinematic adventure. Yeah. So we can have, so all the theaters will want to yeah. play only our movie. And because our movie's so long, they'll be less likely to play other movies. Uh, Is that that's, how that works? that's kind of how it worked. But then I think <laughs> too many people try to be like Lord of the Rings, even even Peter Jackson with King Kong himself. And oh, they were like, okay, wait a minute. Oh, this God. isn't a guaranteed hit for everyone. We got to rethink this. King Kong. Jeez. Oof. Yeah. 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 That's why those giant bugs still scare the shit out of me. These yeah, days. I have a review of it. Go back and check out our <laughs> review on King Kong. Another yeah. movie where we tried to talk about, like, did it try to do too much? Yeah. Lois got a Pulitzer, a Pulitzer, Pulitzer, prize, Pulitzer prize Pulitzer for prize. Pulitzer, a Pulitzer prize for why the world doesn't need a Superman. That's her article that she wrote. And I think he's looking at the Pulitzer Prize. Yeah. But then later she's going to accept an award, a Pulitzer. It's a little confusing. That got weird. What She was going to accept an award for Pulitzer that she just wrote that morning also? Like, no, no, no. I think it was for the Why the World Doesn't Need a I don't Superman. Think it was. But she already had she the always award. Had it on her desk. I think that she was writing uh, Why the World Does Need the Superman. No, that's not until the very, very end. I know, but we're going to that... check the tape. What award does she. Because she complains about winning the award. But it, didn't she write that newspaper, Why They Do Need It? And then later that night, they were all dressed up once everything started going to hell? No, 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 no. no. She was Why winning was for the it? previous article about. Okay. Why the world doesn't need it, Whatever but it looked like said, she already had it. it. What she already did. It's a little confusing. She already it's did. Confusing. It's confusing. Okay. Okay. I looked it up. Uh, that is not an award on her desk. That is a some kind of paper saying that she will be getting the award. Uh, I was a little confused. I thought it was the award. It's just a paper to let her know that she has won the award. In between this, uh, Lex and Kitty go back to the mansion, and the dogs are now cannibals. Oh, God. I did love them. Weren't there two of those? <laughs> it's oh, the God. one Pomeranian is eating the other Pomeranian. Go watch Human Abachi 2. What's Human Abachi 2, Frank? Do you oh, want to talk about it in it's this a, review? It's a cannibalistic film that we shot last summer that uh, is a sequel series that stars Ooh. one and only Frank Volpe, uh, director oh. Mario Soretto, a whole bunch of great actors and, uh, and crew members put it together. And oh, wow. it'll be out on Troma Now and uh, the YouTube page Kings of Horror this April. Troma Now? Do you know I have my official to Troma diploma? What, Tony? D given by Lloyd Coffin to Tony from Hack the Movie. How do I get one? Do you think with my movie being on there that he'll give me one as well? He probably just asked. I hope so. Yeah, I awesome. can. I can message him like, "Hey, yeah. can you make a trauma for Frank? A trauma <laughs> diploma for Frank?" But yeah, human about you too. <laughs> Check it out. Very excited about it. Lex decides to test out his growing crystal on the toy train set, the coolest toy train set I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Although I'm a little annoyed, it was probably one of these magazines at the time uh, that I read, and they said like a guy was in the editing room. 
and he was describing like trains flying off the track and fire blowing up. I'm like, that's going to be awesome. And then I sat in the theater and went, <laughs> oh, a train set? They were miniatures? Like a literal train set with sound effects. That gets a little too goofy. <laughs> I mean, some of those shots kind of took me back to uh, the original Superman, the movie of, you know, when the, <laughs> when the earthquake hit and then, you know, the train fell off the tracks. There's a whole thing. The road starts <laughs> splitting up. I don't know. I feel like Brian Singer was trying to connect something there. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah, Lex puts the crystal in the water. I do like uh, Kitty making fun of him when nothing happens. Yeah. Wow. It's really yeah, something like really, She's great. Uh, but it causes an EMP. And we find out because uh, Superman's trying to get drunk at a bar with Jimmy Olsen. And another Jimmy Olsen. And another Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Jimmy uh, Olsen Inception, baby. Yeah. Uh, they find out that Lois is on a plane that's taxiing a space shuttle. The space shuttle is going to launch off the plane. Again, with the storytelling. I just, I was, oh, God. It just, Seems real it, convoluted. I don't it, know if this is based on anything in it reality. It lost me a little bit, but you know what brought me back? Richard Branson being the pilot. <laughs> Done. I sold me. I was like, yeah, I had no I, idea. He totally would be that flying this <laughs> right now. So they're gonna launch a space shuttle off yeah. a plane, uh, but the EMP like turns the electricity off all over the East Coast. We find out later. Yeah. Um, and it screws up the plane. Yeah. Uh, the plane. They they try to shut down the shuttle, but the shuttle can't shut down. And it's not unlocking, so the shuttle is gonna take the plane into outer space. But with them. like everything else starts back up except for <laughs> that, right? I guess a few things malfunctioned the when okay, they were restarting. So they um, did with this whole thing. They it was they were all like stunt doubles in that in that plane mm -hmm. um, when they were thrown being thrown around and all that. Yeah. Except for uh, Lois Lane. Kate so, Bosworth. Yeah, yeah. Except for Kate Bosworth, yeah. she did all of her own stunts through this, and they literally whipped her through that. Plane. Yeah. It's crazy. I like the it's random crazy. Australian lady. Did you tell where they filmed this? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Because after I found out that they filmed it in Australia, yeah. it was after I watched the film. And I was yeah. like, damn, I really want to go back and see if anyone speaks like with an Australian <laughs> accent in it. What uh, You know what movie we that. reviewed recently that you should check out? Uh, Darkness Falls. Yes. Which was shot in Australia. And there's like a few actors that are like struggling. Oh, no, no. Man <sighs> Thing. We reviewed uh, Man Thing. And what you call it? Jessica Jones's sister is in that movie. I forget the name of the actress. <laughs> And she's yeah. trying to be like a Southern Louisiana person, but her and a bunch of the other actors can't pull it off. No. They're all Australian. Uh. Um, anyway, so the ship's taken off and who's going to save the day? Superman. Yeah. And he runs in the street. He does the famous thing and yeah. his suit is there. Originally, that whole suitcase scene, he was going to run out, do this and realize he wasn't wearing his suit. Really? And there's a picture you can see of his like chest out. Yeah. And he's like, oh, shit. I left it at the Daily Planet. Oh, God. So the whole thing. Thank like, God. They and there was that. a scene that is on the DVD where he's like talking with his mom. He's like, does the world really need me? Like, I was gone for five years. They're all still here. Yeah, yeah. Some things suck, but do you really need me? Yeah. Uh, so he's having this crisis of like, should I be Superman? Do I even put the suit on anymore? Yeah. So that's why like, he was putting the suit in the suitcase and the thing like in yeah. case. And so he goes back there. Mm. And, like, he puts the suit on, and there's some pictures you can find of this where, like, he's still wearing the glasses, and he's looking at himself. He's like, am I ready to be Superman? Yeah. And then everyone in the Daily Planet is just glued to the TVs, and yeah. he, like, sneaks out behind them. So, credit to them that ruined they, the flow. Good yeah. job cutting it out. Yeah. Good job cutting it. It ruins I the mean, flow. Understandable, because literally, like, the whole point of this movie, your whole through line is... Does the world need a Superman anymore? Yeah. And now it's, you know, Clark Kent, uh, you know, really trying to figure out whether he is mm. needed or not. And trying to also, once he hits a point, really starting to try and show the world that, you know, he is needed. Like, yeah. You know, so, but yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. They didn't yeah, it's that. a good thing they cut it. But then, like, go back and cut out the setup. Cut out the goddamn setup. You get Superman earlier in the movie. Yeah. He actually does show up earlier than I thought. For some reason, my memory is he doesn't show up for a really long time Superman? in the Superman suit. Yeah, yeah I mean, I guess, I guess he like doesn't right away. But also, like the way that I look at this film is that it's a Lois Lane film with Superman in it, which is a bad idea because guy, she sucks. She is a terrible Lois Lane. But I mean, I, I, like, she, I don't think she's terrible. I just don't, I just don't like how the whole film is literally. 
I, th- I mean, if I, I'd love to know the numbers on it, mm. on if, whether it's Superman and you know Clark Kent in it more than mm. you know Lois Lane and her family, because I feel like the whole thing is you know just mostly a Lois Lane family story, and then mm. Superman coming back into her life and how she deals with. Yeah, it all. but like I said, they're cutting out a lot of Superman's character stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just speeding up through it, but, but yeah, no, she's. But awful. she writes the you know Superman, you know why the world doesn't need them anymore, yeah. and now it's him coming back into her yeah. life and trying to convince her why the world does. Yes, yeah. and he comes back in her life by yeah. saving her. Uh, okay. And this scene is actually pretty good. What do you think of his his wonderful suit there? Now, all these pictures are lies because in the movie, they digitally color corrected to darken the hell out of it. And the first trailer didn't look like that. And I know trailers are not representative of what the film will look like. But I think Man of Steel did the same thing where it was brighter and then they oh, yeah. chose to... Like, his cape looks maroon. Oh, it's yeah. weird. It's dark. Yeah. Especially it's, in Man of Steel as well. Yeah, yeah, Man of Steel, it's even worse. But in this one, I'm like, why did they go with the colorful suit and then, like, desaturate the hell out of it? It's the colors he used, man. I'm telling you. There was it's something weird. It's weird. like very Brian Singer. Uh, I think the S is too small. Agreed. Did so you? Well. He's got a, very broad shoulders, and it should have, like, filled it out. Yeah, because so I've heard someone yeah. complain before, like, he has more of, like, a swimmer's bod, which Superman isn't really yeah. known for. A lot of his training for this was uh, swimming in the pool and underwater and learning how to maneuver yeah. your body to learn how to fly in the um, air. But, yeah. You can't, it doesn't really show in the movie, especially in those. They kind of blur it out, but he has, like, a little brick pattern like Spider-Man did. Yeah. But did you notice his S... It's made up of tiny S's. I, I knew that. No. They blur it out on some of them, but some pictures, Give yeah. His S is a, like a million tiny S's. Is it really? Well, t- uh, technically his mom made the suit, right? In this universe, his mom made the suit? I guess. It's not like a Kryptonian suit? I guess. I think that's what it was. It was, ma- it was supposed to be made out of his blanket. I think he makes his suit in the original. They just uh, they just skip over how the suit gets yeah. made. But yeah, it's a million bu- bunch of S's. Uh, they add an S to his belt, which I thought was weird. Yeah. Well, because they took it off the cape, and they the designer yeah. wanted to put it somewhere else and do yeah. something different. By the so. way, you don't really you actually get a good look at them here when he's walking on the uh, the ship. Do you know yeah. what's on the back of his boot? His boots? Yeah. Big S's. Big S's. It's like, Jesus Christ, we know it's yeah. Superman. You know what's underneath the boot? Like Another five S? more S's. Uh, no, more S's. Like they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing it. Just it doesn't read well on film, but I remember getting this magazine and being like, why does he have so many goddamn S's? He, he won't, be, S a, he won't be able to <laughs> trespass in your muddy yard. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you don't know who I want is. Batman to have a bat symbol that's just made of bats. <laughs> just a million <laughs> bats. Oh, just smaller geez. bat symbols. Yeah. And then I a mean, bat on his belt, a bat on his boots. I kind of liked his suit in this, but yeah, I don't know. I liked, I really liked the Man of Steel suit and the texture that they used for it. But if they would have brightened it up, I feel like that would have been better. And they but did brighten it up in like some versions of Justice League, and it looked fine. Um, There's a black and white version as well, so just in case oh you didn't God, know. I'll never yeah. watch that. Uh, but no, um, yeah, the suit looks okay. The S is too small. It's They Agreed. colored it to look way too dark. Agreed. But I feel this, like the cape is a little too much, a little too big and uh, leathery. I don't I like that like, I kind of like the big... The big cape on him, like really? I think, I think it kind of looks cool, like the flow, like especially in the flying scenes when the cape's up behind him. And, yeah, I guess that you know, looks good. When flooded. he's not doing that, though, it just looks weird. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, just like that it was leathery. I really liked. I think he looks really great in this scene too. Like this with scene all the is really is and, solid. Even even uh, there's people I know who really don't like this movie, and even yeah. they're like, I like that scene. Yeah, because he goes, he's using his powers, the lasers that like are snapping the uh, yeah the things off. He throws the. The ship into space. The shuttle into space, which kind of, you know, lets yeah. you know later that he's going to throw uh, Dick White's uh, <laughs> plane plane over the ocean as well. Yeah, for him and again, the CGI doubles a little rubbery here, but yeah. again, every movie was doing that, yeah. and this wasn't as bad as, like, the Matrix sequel, so I'll forgive no. it. No. Also, everyone on that flight should have died five different times. Yeah, everyone five should be dead sh- by like, now. Especially when he catches the plane coming down and he just stops, yeah. and everyone just, in in the shot that they do is everyone's back in their seats and just hit their head on yeah. their seats. It's like, wait a minute. But yeah, you're right. Everyone like, would have been goo at the bottom Lo- of Lois, that Lois would be dismembered by now. <laughs> oh, She's yeah. flying around. But I do like that he grabs the wing and it snaps off, yeah. and he, yeah, like, yeah. bursts through Starts it. And I'm like, struggle. yeah, it's actually really fun. But yeah, it's like a classic because he's and again, well. I know it is just a rehash of the helicopter scene 
from the first movie, but it's Agreed. different enough. They like up the ante a but little it's, bit. It's a classic kind of Superman scene. I mean, even yeah. Supergirl did it like their first episode. Her sister was when she uh, saved the plane, yeah. saved the plane going down. Like it's a big, it's you know, it's a big scene. I think that you know, especially landing in the middle of the baseball field, very Americana. But no, it's an amazing scene. The, the effects are are yeah. spot on. Yeah. Like it feels like they're in the air. Looks cool. Uh, I even like when he grabs the plane and they're like the the metal is rippling. Yeah, that it ripples was cool. through. That was kind of cool. Yeah, right Right before he hits the ground, he's pushing through the nose of it, trying to stop it all. Like it's just an all around great scene. So, yeah. you know, classic Superman. And then yeah. puts the plane down and, you know, hoping that he doesn't hit your second baseman as he you know, <laughs> drops the flight. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And I do like that he, he goes in and then they, they couldn't help themselves. They had to have him do, like, statistically speaking, it's the safest way to travel. I'm like, Again. all right, we didn't. We know. Again. Yeah, yeah. We know. Again. Like, I'm like, you, you tricked me into thinking there's a new exciting scene, but then you do that. I'm like, oh, you were just. You're just trying to redo. That. It's okay. a homage, homage. It's like Brian Singer. It would have just been cheaper yeah. to just watch Superman the movie. <laughs> but I get it because he did work with the the Donners. They helped him produce the X-Men movie. So I feel like, because uh, yeah. apparently they're like, he pitched it to them and they loved it. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah I'm sure they did. They're like, oh, you want to just make a movie about how awesome my movie is? <laughs> yeah, sure. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you someone did, came you up did love like, all those scenes, right? Yeah. Tony, I want to reboot mummy cop. It's going to be, we're going to pump all this money to it and you'll get a cut. And it's going to be how great your version of mummy cop was. I'll be like, that's the greatest that's, pitch. I've ever. <laughs> you, my friend are brilliant. Do it. <laughs> Do I have to act as mummy cop again? No. Oh, thank God. I'm not wearing that mask. Again. Sorry, mummy cop. Uh, mummy uh, cop's off screen. I don't know if he shows up on screen. Bring me in. I'll do it. Uh, but yes, very, very exciting scene. Yeah. Superman is back. The theme song is playing. It. Yeah. And then. And it's like, well, it's going to be nothing but action packed from here on. Yeah. And I love I love how on the how on the flight, as soon as he walks in, you know, Lois Lane just eyes him up and she's like, oh, my God. And the, he's, you know. Everyone turns back to her and they're like, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. They're like, you two used to be a thing. Yeah, what's going on here? Is this first meeting again? And then he goes to leave the plane and then gets a second while she comes up behind him. And, and then, then she faints. And then, but right, you could see right in her eyes too, right before she faints, she's kind of looking off into the distance as he flies away and you could see what she's thinking. And she's thinking, I'm going to have to leave my fucking husband. <laughs> <laughs> And she just goes right down. See, I don't think that she was shocked from Superman showing up. I think she was shocked knowing that she's going to have to leave her husband and kid now. Yes. Yeah. Um, so then recently, I actually know one of these DC artists who left over this. DC got rid of the Truth, Justice, American Way line. Hmm. And people were upset about this. But then I was old enough to remember that this movie got criticized because Frank Langella says truth, yeah. justice, all that stuff. And all that stuff. Yeah. Like, okay. All right. I mean, it was cheesy to begin with. Apparently, they added it in the American Way thing, like, during, like, wartime. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, like, always one of his things. Uh, but, um... This movie also shot under the name Red Sun. Oh, really? Which was kind of cool. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Lois has a son who is obviously Superman's son. Obviously. Yeah, they, the second you meet him. It's like, oh, the... The son is real sick and weak. It's like, oh, if he had just been a normal kid, I might not <laughs> yeah. have thought about it. Uh, poor dick. Man. I might not have thought about it if he was just like a normal kid. But they had to show like, oh, he has all these problems. And now it makes me feel bad. I'm like, yeah, he's like a half alien baby. He's probably like, oh, my God, my DNA is like falling <laughs> apart. I'm surprised he's even alive. <laughs> also, that first meeting, like, you know, between them, I really like it. But, you know, it's just, you yeah. know, you know, right off the bat. And his name's Jason and his dad's name's Dick. Yeah. Talk about Brian Singer wanting to shoot a Batman film. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Oh, I man. didn't realize they were both Robin names. <laughs> because up until this point, I had to research it myself. Superman never had a kid in the comics. It wasn't until 2015 that John Kent showed up. Oh, wait, 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 no. Um, the year. It? The year this came out, Richard Donner wrote or co-wrote a comic uh, that was about Superman getting a kid. Gotcha. It turns out it was General Zod's son. Yeah. But he sticks around for a while. But Superman himself having like a, a kid biological in the kid comics, he didn't have till way later. 2015, yes. Jonathan Kent had no idea it was that long until Superman actually had a son. Yeah. Yeah. That's but crazy. they. Because of this movie, they tested the waters with it a little yeah, bit, yeah. where he had a kid palling around with him Thank for God, a while. God, his name wasn't Jason, or you know, Martha, Martha, Jason, Jason, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Actually, I don't. I have a toy, the General Zod, from that specific comic. Batman showed up and was like, "My kid's name's Jason too." 
My kid's name is Damien. He's literally the devil. I know, all right, fake kid, but still, same thing. B- B- Batman should be like, his name's Damien. Like that movie, The Omen, directed by Richard Donner. Did, have you ever seen that one? Whoa, it's- we just went full circle again, dude. And Superman's like, yeah, I did see a Richard Donner movie. And then, and then I saw a movie that was like his movie. Almost. <laughs> so anyway, um, I can't believe James Martin left the X-Men for this. I get he wanted to be with Brian Singer and he trusted his vision more than Brett Ratner's, but it's like, man, they could have given you a lot to do a in lot. X-Men 3. A lot. A lot Instead, more. they're like, oh, I guess we'll just kill you. Same thing. Like, I don't, the movie's slow and it's not like an action thing that's slow. It's it's dialogue. Like, I kept on having a problem with the dialogue in this film that just just didn't even, didn't make any sense or didn't, like, your, the responses weren't right. Like, something felt very weird, but then also not a lot of speaking like it's a lot of like you know like going through just emotion and understanding each other like there's not like there's no words there to be said about things which i i I don't know like i get it it's like a romantic kind of turn and things are changing yeah they they wanted to really uh, well again brian singer rehashing himself it's like i'm gonna do a love triangle yeah and it's like you literally did this twice with that same actor Uh, and and dick just takes it too he's just like "Uh, yep all right this is happening right now i really want i really want like a superhero comedy that's james martin just playing a guy who really is into being cucked by superheroes. He just always loses, man. Every movie. <laughs> no, no, but I want to make a movie where dies. like that's that's his kink. That's his kink. He's into <laughs> it. <laughs> He's into it. <laughs> yeah, bang my wife. What the. F- and then, and then, like one day, he like gets cucked by like a supervillain. He's like, "Oh, that's not my thing." <laughs> so then he hires a superhero oh, to kill that supervillain to get revenge. Oh God. Yep. Because he can't do it. <laughs> That'll do well. James Martin, hit me up. Let's do this. I love, this. I love James Martin. He's great. He's great. He's fantastic. He's great. Special. Not good enough to make me watch another Sonic movie, but he's great. No, but he's like great. Westworld, he's a really good actor. Like when, I never you watched know, Westworld. I heard it like had a really good first season. And then first two, I think, were really yeah. well done. And he's really good in it. It's just, you know, he's he's always either dying or, you know, just losing to someone else. That's he's great it. in Sex Drive. You ever That's seen that it. movie? Ah, not in years. Dude. Oh, Sex Drive is awesome. Especially the director's cut is like a joke. They just digitally added weird shit really? to it to make it even funnier. <laughs> they included bloopers. They're like, we made a we made a director's cut. They said we could do whatever we want. They're like, it literally starts off with them being like, please don't watch this version of the movie if it's your first time. Oh, this is a joke. But he's great in that movie. Um, but yeah, Lois is complaining to Clark. Uh, well, she's mad that she's not allowed to write about the blackout. Uh, Perry's like, listen, lady, you talk about Superman. Uh, so she's bummed and she's complaining to Clark about like Superman. She's like, oh, he, he left and all this and this and this. And then he whistles for a cab. Taxi. <laughs> but now I don't know about you, uh, Frank, but this scene really made me want a Mountain Dew. Why is that, Tony? I don't know. Just something about the scene really made me want a nice, refreshing hmm. Mountain Dew. Were you parched? Does Mountain Dew make you want to whistle? Uh, no, but it makes me want to do the do. So, yeah, she leaves and then Clark turns into a CGI body double and he stalks Lois. Uh, Again, this scene would be tragic and sad with the other opening. But now it's like, dude, you're watching her in her house. That's creepy. Very creepy. That's creepy. Because now it just makes it look like he's jealous. Like, what is she doing there? The kid in there. Yeah. Now they're talking about, you know, Superman's being back. Perfect timing, by the way. Or was he out there all night? And the movie just shows (laughs) that part. Yeah. That now he's listening to them talk about him. Yeah, and know. also he's like, "Do you really? Do you, were you ever in love with Superman?" She's like, "No." It's like, yeah, it's a lie. And then he yeah. knows. So like, he, he kind of I don't know if he gets like upset off of that line or mm-hmm. if he gets angry with that line that he left her and uh, or like kind of happier with that line that like, oh, she. Do, I know that she does. He like you know me. she's know. lying, but it's like, right. yeah, no, I'm saying Superman as a whole, like what for him oh. listening in and if he likes it. Also, uh, the song that the kids playing on the piano is called Heart and Soul. Yes, Heart that. and Soul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like technically, it's a giveaway. He's yeah. Superman's heart and soul. That's his true. Son. It is his. Son. That's true, and it comes back in a scene later. It does he gets sad, Superman, get because sad. that song that came out a few years prior. It was like, I can't stand to fly. Remember that song? I do. People like that song, so they're like, we want a sad Superman. And I bet you, if you went on YouTube around this time, someone used images and, like, footage 
to this song, and I bet you it's like 180p. It's like super compressed footage. <laughs> anyway, I would have watched it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so he's flying, and he's just he he constantly has to replay Marlon Brando in his head. Yeah, uh, I do like the shot of him over the world with his cape flying in the. That looked really cool. Yeah, those shots because that was something they really couldn't do in the old ones. The cape yeah. in zero gravity. Yeah, yeah. So they did it really well here. Pep talk from his dad. Everyone needs a pep talk from their dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is weird. They show pictures of him, or maybe they only do in the deleted scenes. They show pictures of his Earth dad, but they don't play any lines of dialogue from that. Nah, that's why I like Man of Steel better. <laughs> they did have a scene with his mom. Apparently, he was like, does the world need Superman? And she's like, well, your dad always said you're here for a reason. It would have been good to hear some of that, but yeah. instead it's like, no, Marlon like, Brando's the bigger actor. Have all the Marlon Brando stuff. Something like a way better written line, like one day they'll join you in the sun. Wasn't that from a comic? It wasn't even written for the movie. Didn't I they take it from like a comic? Kevin Costner says it. <laughs> Kevin Costner didn't say that. Russell Crowe said that line. I just like when Russell Crowe said Kevin that. Costner was like, you should just <laughs> let people die. I'm going to get eaten in a tornado <laughs> and come back as a ghost. Ah, Russell Crowe does say that. Remember when he came back as a ghost and then the writer of that movie wrote Rise of Skywalker and then Han Solo came back as a ghost, but not even like a force ghost. It was like literally the same scene. It's like, well, he just he recycled one scene from this oh, shitty movie for another one. No, <laughs> How does he keep dude. getting work? Stop ruining things anyway. for me. So uh, he decides he's going to go stop some crimes. Hell and yeah. uh, there's a bunch of bank robbers that brought a minigun. <laughs> now, granted, I'll how, give, did, <laughs> how did they get that on the roof? I'll give. Well, they had a helicopter <laughs> okay. because now you might not know this because in movies, they're always having people carrying miniguns, which is stupid. Miniguns are meant to be mounted to like the side of a ship or a helicopter. Oh, yes. So I'm actually giving them credit. It's like, oh, they brought it for the help, but they were landing. Like, okay, let's attach it to a crane. They didn't were just like, I'm going to go rob the bank with a mini gun. Like the worst gun you could ever bring to something. It was also just to just, just to throw Superman off, right? Like just to put him, like they put this singular guy on the roof to- with No, the, no, with I think this was a bank robbery that was happening. While Lex Luthor was across town? No, because Lex Luthor had a different thing that he did. Right. Oh, okay. So this was just a separate thing. I think it was just a thing okay, that was I got happening. a little confused there. I don't know. I don't okay, know so they're like shooting this up. By the way, I love the two security guards. It's like, I'm sorry, if I'm the security guards and the real cops are there, I'd be like, yeah. well, they got this. <laughs> I'm not going to the roof where there's a minigun. I'm like, no, no sorry. No I'm way. I'm not. No, 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 I no. I mean, no. the balls on those guys. Good for them. <laughs> yeah, that was great. They, they got lucky that Superman did um, show up. But yeah, this scene this scene was used in every advertisement. Superman with the bullets deflecting. I hope he knows where they're all going. We see that it almost kills a couple of the other bank robbers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a cool scene. Just boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, no punch thrown at the end. They just, you know, just but, assume wait, wait. that he's grabbing again. I That's love the guy. He's like, well, you know, the minigun didn't work. I'll shoot him in the <laughs> face with my handgun. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the eye with my And look, I've military. never been more jealous. Uh, of someone to have invincible eyes. I wish I had invincible eyes. I mean, yeah. Well, all the eye injuries I had oh, and geez. all the movies I have to see with eye injuries, it was so refreshing <laughs> to see something go into someone's <laughs> eye and they were totally fine. That's right. You don't like uh, eye injuries. That's right. Because I yeah, had, yeah. It's all, everyone yep. knows. Suicide everyone knows. And all that. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that was used in everything. Great shot. Very cool. Yeah. It's just, you know, I would have liked to see him like maybe at least grab the guy and, you know, yeah, do something. You should have did this. Know? But don't kill the guy but it, throw him no, off, not the, kill him. I throw him off the roof and then swoop up yeah. and grab him in midair and you know take him so um, I don't know so yeah while this is happening Lex breaks into a museum yeah. to get a meteor from Addis Ababa mm -hmm. which is where the kryptonite meteor came from in the first movie so I guess all the kryptonite that has yes, ever it. landed on earth landed in Addis Ababa also said it was found 1978 Exactly. Yeah, Wait, so that means he went to Addis Ababa and he didn't even get all the kryptonite? I would have gotten all the kryptonite I could. Yep. Uh, but yeah, he breaks in there with a wig. That's pretty funny. Uh, like and it. he's he has another plan, which is to have Kitty fake her car brakes going out. But it turns out we know later on that he yeah, literally cut he, her brakes. He cut her brakes. Yeah. Um, that's I heard like, was, is it a thing that like extras got hurt during that scene and something happened? And like, I didn't people, hear that. I, I swore I read that somewhere. Maybe people got hurt during it. But, um, but it's it really, looked pretty like that one. That one stuntman looks like he's about to get hit with the car. It looks really cool behind the scenes. Like, yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, then we finally got the iconic pose of him picking up the car. I'm like, Action oh, that's comics. cool. Yeah, yeah people one. were there from uh, what you call it, Action Comics yeah. number one. If you watch the the making of it, it's like it's just really cool how they how they did it, and you know, and Brandon Routh underneath it, and mm -hmm. you know, having to make it really look like he's holding that car, and it just yeah. it looks it just looks great. I really love that shot. Yeah, it's a beautiful Colors, shot. Color wise, looks great. And I know like, they did it again in the TV series, the Superman and Lois TV series. Also, uh, when they first went to steal that piece of stone, the two guys that they rushed out of there are the two writers of the movie yeah, yeah. michael doherty and the right. other one yeah yeah uh so yeah uh kitty is too horny for superman she won't let him leave <laughs> um, but eventually he's like all right lady i gotta i gotta go she's uh, trying to get saved from lex yeah Luther, man. superman is on every tv on earth and then there's a gotham city name drop yes there is so it actually see it here they have that that magazine that says Brandon Routh on the perks of being the Man of Steel living up to Chris Reeve and why he doesn't want to fight Batman. And then there's a little graphic of Batman going, "I'd fight him." Warner Brothers was obsessed with uh, doing a Batman versus Superman I movie. Don't know they, why they wanted to do it so it was supposed to be before this, I know. before Batman Begins. They they have a script. We should read it one day. I am Legend had to had it in there too. Yeah, they were obsessed with trying to get this off the ground. A Superman Batman movie. Um, and you know, and eventually they did, and it's one of the most embarrassing things it ever just released. Doesn't make we should review it one day because I'd love to tell you about it because it doesn't <laughs> make sense to me. Either, anyway, um, they wanted to do that so bad, and it's funny because the Batman movie made no reference to any other superhero. They're like, no, 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 no. no. But Superman's like, and Gotham. I bet you, if this had done well, they would have forced them to be like, you yeah. got to do a Bat. We'll do it with or without you, Nolan. But then Warner Brothers would have been afraid again and said, well, we have our trilogy running. We can't have another Batman in something, you know, off on the side. Well, so actually, while these were Christian going Bat. on, they were developing that Justice League movie. Remember with the guy from Man that George Miller was making oh, a Justice yeah, League movie. Yeah, he was. But maybe it was. I guess it, and it wasn't these two. This. It was going to be a whole new cast. Maybe they were trying to push it for after the trilogy comes out. I don't know. Out. I don't no, because I that think was they, 2011 release. I think something like that. It was something like that. It was weird yeah. that they were pushing that like while their current series were going. Then again, yeah, they released a Joker right. movie while two other uh, whatever. Well, I mean, it's starting to kind of make sense now. But we'll see. We'll see how well it turns out. This is a really good joke. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, look. It's. You wanted to see me? I liked it. Uh, I also like the Superman sex joke. Where she's like, I've done Superman. Ah, uh, yes, that's when this hits. Yes, and I really like Clark's reaction finding out Luther got out of prison because oh, they God. were like oh, on his court date. They called Superman as a witness, and he wasn't there. And I like when he goes, he goes, I bet you that really pisses Superman off, and he's just like, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I like that, but it also makes no sense. He was serving two life sentences. He was on trial for two life yeah. sentences, and just because Superman that, that, didn't show up, Lex calls it out later on. It's like, oh yeah, wait a minute. Superman's not an officer of the law. He didn't read his Miranda rights or anything. But still, I mean, if you're on, if they're at least putting you on trial for two life sentences, it's, I, I get it. It's another comic book thing. R remember, I get it. I get yeah, it. It is funny when you think about it in context. Like, if Superman one and two are canon, it's like, oh yeah, he made the entire West Coast like shake and almost go into the ocean, yeah. and then he helped three yeah. alien terrorists take yeah. over America. <laughs> But with the Superman's promise of getting here. Australia. <laughs> well, Superman's not here, so let, let the man go. What they should have sure. done is opened up with some kind of jailbreak scene then. And just yeah. had Brutus, you know, break him out of jail. Yeah, well, he was know. too busy murdering people at a, at a party, it's I guess. Just, it's poorly <gasps> At a written. birthday party. Um, oh, God. <laughs> so this is weird. Lois. Lois is super jealous. I don't know if you ever had a really jealous, angry girlfriend, but this is her to a T. And I was probably dating one in high school around this time. Right. But yeah, he goes, yeah, Superman missed the museum. He's probably saving this hooker. And I'm like, okay, what about that picture? Screamed hooker. It's like, well, Lois, you're really projected <laughs> there. Because you see the looker, you see the look on Clark Kent's face too. He was kind of just gave it like, a, hmm, yeah, 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 did, did save hooker. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was a lot. I'm like, you're not getting yeah. Amy Adams to call people hookers yeah. in her movies. Yeah. Uh, Amy Adams auditioned for this part. She did. Yeah, it's actually funny if you watch part. the Batman Begins behind the scenes. She's like the acting partner for the auditions. So really? like uh, Killian Murphy and whatnot. They're yeah. acting with Amy Adams in those audition things. Really? Yeah. They had her like reading, I guess. Huh. And she was in Smallville. She was the fat girl who ate things. Oh, wow. I only watched the first season of Smallville. I didn't watch any Smallville. Really? 
Yeah, I, I wasn't. I don't know. No, it's fine if you didn't. It got real bad. Like I watched like the first two seasons. I'm like, I don't read know. comics all the time as a kid. Was keeping up with them. Watched all the animated series stuff. But it, for it was some annoying reason, being an outsider looking in. It's like, didn't watch okay, now he's fighting Doomsday and he's still not Superman. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah Gotham yeah. did it a little bit better. Anyway, did it. Move on. A little bit. On to the next. All right. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So Lois runs down a list of Superman stats for her boyfriend or her, yeah, her fiance, who for some reason didn't know. It's like, how do you not know all this? He's only been gone for five years. You had to have been aware of him all those years he was there. Yeah. So yeah. And that's also for the audience who might not know. So she's like, can't see through lead. Can't do this. Kryptonite kills him. Uh, we find out that she's smoking again. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah, and then Clark takes off his glasses, and he has a moment where he's almost about to tell her. And it's like, oh, just like the first movie. Although it's weirder in this scene. Yeah. I like, it made know. no sense for him to have that idea like here I in this said, scene. Like I said, man, the whole, the whole, like, just the dialogue and, and everything yeah. with it. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess. You know, he's back after five years. He's, yeah. She has a kid okay. and a husband now. And like, So they, not counting Superman 2, because he did the mind erasing kiss or whatever, but... They clearly had some relationship yeah. where he didn't disclose his. They clearly were dating. Yeah. He just didn't tell her what his alter identity well, was. Well, I mean, yeah, they, they banged. They definitely banged oh, at yeah. some point. But if because she, she's if, taking it real. She's like, we were like a thing and you left, you asshole. Well, like he wiped her memory and then out of nowhere she has a kid. Like, you know. No, like, no, no, no. I like think they, they, how they I think. Like the first, right? How I think. Because I don't think Brian Singer would ever do anything problematic no. like that. Move on. Uh, I think there was the memory wiping whatnot. But I think they were actually. He might have been testing the waters, trying to date her again, but only as Superman, not Clark. I guess you're right, yeah. They clearly had some kind of relationship. Before he left Earth. Again. Because, and I think even Kevin Smith pointed this out, like the end of the movie, when she finds out, she'd be like, when the fuck, like, <laughs> what did you do to me? It'd be very different. So clearly they had Who some. Who did this? <laughs> clearly she had some consensual relationship with him post-Superman 2. Yeah. That they were fairly vague about. Yeah. Oh, by the way, terrible reporter. And she's clearly just mad. But she's like, where did you go? And he's like, I went to go see Krypton. And she's like, yeah, anyway, you suck. It's like, you don't have any follow-up questions? Like, was Krypton there? Like, what did you find there? Like, how did you get Let's talk there? about this. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. So, but what are the effects of a red uh, a super? Wait, didn't a sun blow up? Wouldn't there be a supernova? Like, how does even the pieces... What's <laughs> out there in our universe? Like, yeah, what else yeah. did you see all the way? She's just like, oh, uh, yeah, Krypton. Yeah, whatever. Fuck yeah, you. Get it's out like, of here while hell? I smoke my cigarettes. <laughs> Oh, God. So, <laughs> speaking of bad dialogue, he's like, I want to show you something. Let's fly together. Uh, and then she gets barefoot, and he should be like, you might want to put socks on. It's, like, really cold. <laughs> anyway, um, she grabs him and goes, I forgot how warm you are. That was a weird line. Yeah. I, remember, I remember us in the theater just being like, what? I don't, yeah, a lot of weird comments like that, dude, that just that bothered the hell out of me. I really like this flying scene, but just, you know, slow. I think it was a little bit longer than it should have been. Yeah, and again. bring that magic back from the first one. That yeah, and it's another seen. rehash, but, like, it's more fun when they're, like, young lovers yeah. who are into each other and yeah. they're having this experience. It's less fun when it's just a guy who wants to cuck someone's baby mama because <laughs> yeah. he doesn't realize that he's actually the deadbeat dad. Well, just, it's not as fun. It's not as fun the second time around. He just made all of planet Earth the cuck while he went <laughs> all the... What did he have to show her? He just wanted to show her space. He's just right? like, hey, do you hear that? She's like, no. And he's just like, I hear them calling out for a savior. <laughs> yeah. And she should be like, why did... You could have just told me that. See, why, whole, why did he fly? The whole point of the movie. Again. And he should have said to, to be like it. the first movie. It's like, <laughs> no, you're never going to recapture that magic, buddy. Never Trying that. to prove the world needs a Superman. That's the whole point of the movie. Yeah. Also, uh, so she comes back. Almost makes out with him. Uh, almost. I thought they were. Who, well, pull, who pulled away there? Well, Superman believes in truth, justice, but not traditional family values. Um... <laughs> She is engaged. I guess maybe she's not off the market as far as Superman's concerned. He's like, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. She's not. She's got an engagement ring, but she doesn't have a wedding ring yet. We're good. Yeah. We're good. This is, this Test, is so good. testing the waters there. Getting a little bit too close. Like, I, I really like the shot with, you know, him, his feet hitting the ground and then her feet hitting the ground with him. Like, mm. it just, I don't know. There's a lot of cool shots. I did like that she didn't know that they were flying yet. She should have did a poem again. Like she did in the first one. Mm -hmm. The Can You Read My Mind poem. Yep. But I loved it. 
she, only, while she's flying in her head, she's like, should I leave my husband, my fiance? Oh, God. I think you might be my kid's dad. I mean, it's <laughs> what she's thinking the whole film. When, <laughs> at what point will I leave my husband? Yeah. It's in her head already that she's leaving. So Richard's a pilot, and he can't tell that her hair was blowing in the wind. That's right, dude. That's right. I think he might right. have. I think he might be into the cock holding. I'm he not going to lie. But I know did. I joked earlier, well, but I'm like, oh, I guess if you're, I guess if you had a cuck holding fetish, you'd be like, Superman, cuck me. I'm like, that'd be a big deal if you were into that. He has no response through the whole film. The, the His biggest response is the look. Yeah. Just looks. Getting out of the car. Looks. Getting her jumping I would be, out of the By plane, the way, if I was looks. suspicious, I'd be like, hey, honey, oh. I know I never did this before. Can we get a blood test on that kid? I don't I'm not <laughs> sure about the, the way you're looking at. The way you're looking at your ex-boyfriend, or I'm sorry, yeah. that guy you definitely don't he love. Starts, I think we should not get a DNA test. He starts to know, too. It's just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you would ask, you know, where, and then he got mad that she was smoking. But she's like, hey, I got my dress, whatever. I want to go to this location. It's where the MP went off. Yeah. That's where they told me. It's like, no one else looked in it? The government didn't nope. look into it and nobody, go there? Your lead reporter had to? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's at some mansion on a yacht. I'm going to go there. <laughs> With her kid. With my kid. Picks her kid up from school. Nobody else could. And yeah. then takes her kid there? And then I couldn't believe... It's been a few years since I've seen God. this. I couldn't believe this. By the way, I watched this on my HD DVD player. Ooh. I have two HD DVD players. The one isn't playing audio for some reason. But the Xbox 360 HD DVD was playing. And then the hair blowing scene, it literally froze on the hair blowing scene. Hmm. So half the movie works on one of the players. Thank you for the people who sent me their HD DVD players. Uh, I have two of them. Yeah, anyway. You should have stopped watching there then. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Superman waited this long to go to the Fortress of Solitude. That should have been number one on his list. Or at least number two. Yeah. Like, okay. You should have landed there first yeah. off. But if you're going there, he's like, all right, mom, uh, before I go to Metropolis, yeah. I better check out my secret fortress. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, the one that has no doors, apparently. I, I, I should better, go th- better go make sure that all my crystals that can blow up the world and create a new uh, Krypton are still there. Yeah, you, you know what? I should so. probably put a password yeah, on yeah. my weird crystal something. thing. Something. Or maybe just take the crystals out and put them in a box. Something. Something. Maybe like a briefcase in his closet. I yeah. don't know. And then this is the only time he's actually in the fortress, which is weird. And even this scene, I feel like, was at an post. I feel like they might have been like, wait, did we make a movie where Superman doesn't go to the fortress at least once? Uh, but yeah, he goes there and he's like, oh, my crystals are gone. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? Okay. <laughs> it's just weird, man. But you know, Every it's better It's better than throwing the Fortress of Solitude into 10,000 skyscrapers and killing millions of people. I'll take this over that any day of the week. Um, man of Steel. Lost. Remember, the ship was his Fortress of Solitude um, and so... he crashed it in the middle of the city. I don't think he does, though. Yeah, he does. No, he does. Okay, so what's he do with this one? In it's this flying one? over water the entire time. And then when he finally makes up his mind, he crashes the ship while it's over the middle of the city. He's such an asshole. He doesn't way. crash the ship. He does. No, he doesn't. He uses his laser, destroys the ship, and then it crashes in the I, city. It just it, it wasn't his fault, dude. Zod was attacking. <laughs> was kinda, he, he had a, a long time to make up that decision, and he waited until it was over the city. It looked really cool, though, right? And then later know, looked, on... And then it was next, actually kind of disturbing to the, watch. I'm like, in I don't the like next this. film, they're all like, oh, God, here's a memorial for those people and try to make up for it. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. I get it, dude. Super Superhero kind of world. You know, like, things happen. Nah, it sucked. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was laying in her kid alone with Lex Luthor. Yes, yes. <laughs> I do like that she goes on the yacht and she realizes what's up when she sees the wigs. She's like, oh, shit. Uh, I like that she catches yeah. him off guard. He's like, Lois? Lex Luthor. Lois Lane. And he decides to do, to reveal his plan to her, and it's another land scheme. Yep. Like the first movie. Just like the first oh, But movie. this time he's making new land out of kryptonite. He's using the crystal technology that you could build. He's manipulating it, yep. and he's going to merge it with kryptonite, so yep. Superman could never live there. I'm like, yep. ah, that's kind of clever. And then no one in the entire world will ever be able to take it from him and his two henchmen. Ever. Yeah, she's like, people are going to let you. He's like, I have access to all this technology. I'm like, yeah, but you've only done the crystal in the water thing. You haven't tried to make <laughs> weapons yet? Anything else? <laughs> you think you would have tried <laughs> to do something else with it, right? Yeah, like, oh, they should have been, people say there's not enough action. There should have been, like, Kryptonian weapons or something. And I'll, yep. I'll talk about a different story that yep. does this 
plot yep. better. But you know what he did do instead of testing out the technology? What? He made three different maps showing how his land will he made grow. Three different physical <laughs> maps. I thought that was really clever. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that because movies now it'll just be a hologram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. After the MCU, it was <laughs> just holograms. It just yeah, and I'd be like, up. oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. um, um, he suspects the kid might be Superman's when the kid starts having his asthma around the kryptonite. Oh, yeah. As soon as he pulls out that kryptonite. And I do knows. like that line, like, sir, we're at the thing. And he, he's like, whose kid is that? She's like, Richard. And the guy asks him a question. He's like, are you sure? And yeah. the guy answers. Yeah. thinking, oh, that's <laughs> He's funny. like, yes, we have arrived. <laughs> yes, we actually did. <laughs> um, and he also says the coordinates over the radio. Like, it's just, oh, yeah. God, I get it, man. Comic booky, but yeah. it's just, it's so. And boring. everyone at the office is trying to figure out Lois's password. And it's Superman. Lois, Why? you're an idiot. Everyone's going to guess that. <laughs> Everyone's going to. I hate this Lois so uh. much. Like, you don't understand. Like, Margot Kidder was like very charismatic. If anything, she was very like yeah. lively and charismatic. Yeah. And I know this version of Lois Lane is supposed to be angry and bitter at Superman, but she should still retain some of those like classic traits. Lex and his and Parker Posey. What's her name? Lex and the girl. Like, Kitty. Yeah. They're like they're the best part of this film. Everything yeah. else. Superman, uh, uh, maybe Perry White's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Superman, Lois Lane, uh, Dick White, yeah. Jason. It's just all Jimmy's here. okay too, but yeah, Jimmy too. He's got some ups and downs, but everyone else, like even just in conversations, when mm. like you just walked on Alex Luthor's yacht, and now you are screwed with your kid. She, mm. Like there's no care anywhere yeah. in it. There's no. I just emotion never that's... can get into her. She looks great, but I can never get into her. Uh, I don't know. It's she just weird. doesn't have that. Lois per and again growing up with the 90s show like Lois has yeah. Lois is one of my favorite characters because yeah. she is like very she has a really rich personality charismatic and out yeah. Ellen and asking, that's why I could, asking I couldn't really smart get into questions Amy, I couldn't really get into Amy Adams either yeah. she was just kind of there well none of them can spell at the end of the day so yeah I love, I love that that's the running gag is no Lois Lane knows how to spell <laughs> how many F's and catastrophic like, none come on <laughs> get it over it oh yeah so there's the weird scene where Jason is playing the piano heart and soul with yeah. The killer clown guy. So okay, so tell me about this. So this is what I was getting at. Yeah. So uh, you, he reveals the tattoo on the back of his head, and it was the same tattoo that uh, the Wayne Gacy, John Wayne Gacy, John Wayne Gacy had, and he was a clown killer as well. So uh, the kid starts playing the piano. Brutus starts getting turned on a little bit because mm. he's like, ah, yeah, kid. So the guy gets all excited, walks over to play the piano with the kid, and mm -hmm. then you know, and then it kind of clicks right there as well. You're like, that's the. That's the clown killer, <laughs> The birthday dude. massacre That's the guy? birthday massacre guy, Brutus. Yeah, but Scumbag. didn't they say they met him in prison? Yeah. No, no. Because Lex says, like, I met... She's like, your friends are scary. He's like, oh, yeah. I was in prison. You make scary friends. Oh, but no, but he's been out of prison for a while. He's been out of prison okay. for a little while. Okay. So it all it all, it all, all comes together. And so he was probably in prison well. with that guy. And he said, what are you doing when you get exactly. out? He's like, I'm going to massacre a birthday. <laughs> oh, God. Man. But yeah, I couldn't uh, believe that they put that in the film like that because that's like, yeah. that's some real raunchy shit, dude. You just put child molestation and killing in your like Superman film. Like, I that's, can't believe Brian Singer did that's that. That's dark, dude. <laughs> Those bad guys are in it like, they would work in like a Christopher Nolan movie. They don't work for this no, type of movie. No, 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 no. I know the idea is to be God. like, oh, prison really hard in Lex Luthor, but he's still acting like the Gene Hackman Lex Luthor, so it didn't yeah. really jive well with yeah, me yeah. with there. I just, yeah, these, but, these um, scumbags at the end of the day. They all he's gonna kill Lois uh because she sent a fax with the coordinates he's attacking her and then Jason throws a piano at him and kills him yeah kind of liked it dug it that was kind of cool this feels a little x-man-ish it's like oh because an x-men you know you're you develop some mutants are born yeah. with their powers and others That's develop it. them at puberty and it's like yeah. oh okay this this feels well, like an X-Men scene. Like when they're feeling threatened as well that's how they find out if, if you have the X gene or not is yeah. it when they hit you with like tar and try to drown you or whatever whenever you're in danger like your body's pushing, course, pushing or whenever you're excited because rogue kissed her boyfriend and she almost killed him well um, yeah i mean you know same thing i do feel bad for the mutants maybe that, she was scared i do feel bad for the mutants that are like they're just like oh i i can move things with my mind but yeah. i look normal and then you have the ones that are like i'm a blue monkey person oh, and God. i was born this way <laughs> I just watched New Mutants the other week for the first time, and that was... It was uh, okay. Was, it was actually was not... Bad. Yeah. It was actually... To, when you factor in how long it took for it to come out... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...and the rewrites and stuff, it actually wasn't as big of a mess as I thought it'd be. No. I mean, Giant I Giant Bear at the end was kind of yeah, crazy, cool. but... Well, yeah. Dark Phoenix was the same way. I was expecting that to be way worse. Yeah. 
It's got it. I didn't hate it. It's missing a second act. Yeah. It really is. It's like she should have done more before the third act. Yeah. But I was expecting because that was another one that they completely reshot, and I was expecting yeah. it to be even worse. And I'm like, oh, it's actually not that. It's a weird note to end that series on, yeah. but I just hope they fully reboot all of that. Like, no, don't bring any like older characters. Well, in. Hugh Jackman's like, coming back. That. I know, but it could but that's just, just for Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, now there's a multiverse. He's like, oh, this movie's happening in the Deadpool universe, and it'll be unrelated yeah. to the X Men. It brings universe. just him in with. I don't so. care. Yeah. Ant Man was lame, and Thor: Love and Thunder sucked. The new Ant Man? I haven't seen it yet. He was. I'm yeah. excited to see it though. I gave up on the TV shows. I'm really excited. I gave to see up it. on them. Why? I liked Moon Knight, but then it was just like... Because then She-Hulk came out and you didn't like the twerking? I didn't even get up to She-Hulk. I didn't even watch really? Miss Marvel. I don't know. I mean, I, I like them. I like Miss Marvel. I like She-Hulk Like at times. I'm not thrilled about She-Hulk. Oh, God. I finally watched Lady like Black Panther. That sucked. Really? Yeah. So, like, I think it was long and a lot of things could have been cut yeah. out of it, but I I, I kind of I kind of liked it. I mm. liked I liked Namor in it, like... You know, it's just yeah, super, yeah, I actually didn't mind. super I upsetting really with Chadwick Boseman and, and all that. I feel like mm. there's a scene in it that I feel like they should have incorporated him somehow. Like, mm. I, I feel like they could have done something and gave him a cut, like, figured well, out a way to bring him back. We'll and talk about that when we review Black Panther Returns 15 years from now. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'd be hyped for that. Well, they set up another T'Challa anyway. Yeah, yeah no. Spoiler for Lady Black Panther. I'm sorry for saying Lady Black Panther. I forgot the title of the movie. Uh, <laughs> Wakanda Forever. That's Wakanda the name. Wakanda Forever, anyway. Tony. This is why I stopped coming over. <laughs> <laughs> the planet uh, gets the facts. Also, the bad guys are like, hey, the, the kid threw a piano. And L Luther's like, oh, shit. Lock that kid up. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Um, also, you let the you let the woman you're supposed to be watching fax you know uh, uh, fax it through. Fax it through. Luther, come on, unplug your fax machine. Yeah, you right? Why did you sit her at a desk with a phone and a fax machine? Oh. Anyway, uh, so they figure out its coordinates. Richard gets on his plane to go there, and Superman's flies. like, Superman's like, I'm gonna one up that dick. Uh, I'm gonna get there <laughs> first. And then as he's X-raying, he's like, Oh shit, there's an earthquake happening. And then you'll never believe it. Superman has to fly around. And save people from an earthquake. <sighs> like the first movie. <laughs> I knew I saw that somewhere else before this. Only this <sighs> time, instead of nuking a fault line, which we talked about wouldn't do much, um, he put the uh, crystal growing thing with the kryptonite and it went into the sea and now it's like fusing with the earth and yeah, shit. Yeah, whatever he did. I, I think I lost, like, I was confused during all of it. I think I like stopped looking at the TV <laughs> at that point. I really did. Again, this scene oh. is exciting, but like, it would have been exciting just to see him like save all these people anyway, but it's like, oh, it's an earthquake again. Yeah. It's like, well, give me something new. Yeah, give me something new. Something new. Like, I just that's why I said it like just as a whole from the beginning. Bring in Supergirl from the beginning. Yeah. Bring in Brainiac or or Doomsday or something different. Like we've seen the Lex Luthor thing already oh, God, a million yeah, yeah. times. And it's like, what the hell? Uh biggest problem with this scene that, you know, it's gonna sound really dumb, but when he flies out of that elevator, was mm. just the shaft open? That's a good question. He because just, because he goes up and then it's just And then he's <laughs> flying. That's it. He comes right out of the building without any destruction yeah. or any like <laughs> At least I don't know if that was like a deleted part or something like I that, or whether so. they cut it. Or but he gets in the elevator, he leaves all of his clothes in there. So no, like, I think he drops them on top of the elevator as he's flying out. Okay, so a maintenance guy. Still, that yeah, imagine and the maintenance then, guy be like, who keeps leaving? You know, the maintenance guy's like, who's getting naked? But also, <laughs> did he turn the latch to get out of the elevator first, slam it back down while he was flying out, and then when he hit the roof, what did he do? Just squeeze through the cracks to fly out? I have out? no idea what he That's did. what just bothered me the most. You gotta have <laughs> him flying. At least um, destroy the roof, dude. I will say there are some cool things like this where, like, he flies... Pe I actually like when the buildings start to shake. You see, like, the dust yeah. coming off of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like when he's flying and the rocks are falling, so he uses his heat vision to melt the like laser the rocks before it hits people. Love that. Very cool. Laying That's back fun. on his back, hitting yeah. him, shooting it. Like I like when cool. uh the the explosions go off because the gas main breaks and then he goes to the gas place and he blows it all back. Yeah. Um, so like I when I was first watching I was like is all of this necessary right now like again earthquake like yeah. running through it but yeah all right something different to you yeah. know, save people it's cool. and uh, I do like actually this is the first like Superman live action thing that had the globe on top of the Daily Planet. Yeah. Because the old well, one, yeah. they show a miniature of it in the beginning, but when you actually watch the movie, yeah. when they're there, there's no globe on top of the building. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I huh. like that, like, the globe falls off. It's a cool-looking effect. 
Uh, and I like that he catches it. And then Perry White does his comic book catchphrase, Great Caesar's Ghost. Yeah. I'm like, that's out of place here. <laughs> does what's, what's the god's name? Atlas as he catches yeah, the, yeah. The, the globe. Which, right there, boom. It's a world. Superman caught it. The world needs a Superman. It, it does. It does. Also, Jimmy oh. Olsen has a great Nikon camera. I love that Nikon camera. <laughs> I think they did that in Man of Steel also. They show a Nikon. I don't know. Oh, wow. In Man of Steel, they also have a Budweiser, and Superman's drinking a Budweiser in this. I wonder if they're... Does Nikon and Budweiser, they're like, hey, you making another Superman movie? Get our products. And <laughs> Man of Steel has so many product placements. It's just pretty much a yeah. commercial. So, uh, Richard goes to save Lois and Jason. Dick. But then uh, the 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 crystal goes through the ship, and then he gets locked in there. And you know he got yelled at later for it. It's like, well, <laughs> Superman, when he showed up, he actually got us out of the boat. He didn't get himself c- captured too, oh, Dick. That's why he's not at the house at the end. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not. Oh, my God. He's not, dude. <laughs> she knew that she was leaving him. Yeah. So um, it splits in half like the Titanic. Uh, and Dick. they almost drown until Superman shows up. Call James Cameron, dude. He got his answer on how the Titanic actually broke. Snap. It broke underwater. It broke out. Yeah. No, well, the whole his whole thing was when it came up that it really snapped and how it snapped. No, I watched his documentary. Yeah, like right. it, now they know like underneath the really? water it snapped like that. Yeah. yeah, they knew it snapped underneath. And then oh. like a twist that going down. So there was no cool scene in real life to where like the actual nah. bow just like slammed down into the nah. water. Uh, I reviewed Titanic with your sister. Oh. That was one of her yeah, that's one of the early episodes. Damn, where was my invite? Go on. <laughs> uh, that's the day she gave me this Godzilla background poster yeah, that apparently fine. was yours. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. She was yeah, like, yeah. do you want this? It was Frank's. And I'm like, oh, should she ask Frank? Well, whatever, yeah. I'm taking it. Yeah, 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 I was like, give it to Tony. He'll enjoy it. <laughs> For my Godzilla 98 shrine <laughs> that I just have. <laughs> Everyone has one so, of those. So he saves them. It's kind of cool, him bringing the ship out of the water. Yeah. Uh, he throws their plane. He's like, goodbye. Now let me help you. Also, I kind of like that whole, like, door slams like they're in there like you know yeah. you knew what was coming but like i i i would have liked a really cool shot through that like hole a little bit more like the window through yeah like, that i do cool. have the one but i don't know like i don't know it was very cool how they made it as well and mm-hmm. him pulling the ship it does look awkward when he's just standing still and you're supposed to know he's that flying he's flying I yeah know. it looks a little weird because it's like, where does he get his momentum from? It just, I don't know. It Because he weird. can't hover. Like, I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Maybe but. if his feet weren't on the thing, if it was just his yeah. hand, like, I would have yeah. dealt with it more. Or, like, went underwater and you pushed the whole yeah. thing up. Yeah, it just so, it always looks weird. <laughs> Kryptonite. I think we talked about it in the first movie. Kryptonite works however the writer wants it to work in that moment. There's no clear, consistent yep. thing with Kryptonite. It can work for 10 seconds or it can work for an hour. Yeah, so... Long. Superman lands on the island. And I know the island is mixed with other stuff, but it's like, yeah. he didn't know he was getting sick. He wouldn't be like, oh, wait a minute. I don't feel good. Yeah. Like right away. Like just like how he was flying. Yeah. From Krypton in the beginning. And you, I mean, maybe that's why they cut that as well. Like maybe. To, to show that like, because to get rid of that, he got sick a lot quicker. Yeah. In Krypton. I don't but know. then <laughs> Lex Luthor sees him sweating. And for me, for me, that wouldn't, that wouldn't signal signal to me that he is weak. <laughs> I'd be like, I assume Superman sweats. That's just like a bodily function. What if, if it was weird- just water from the ocean? And Lex yeah, Luther, wait a minute. He was just in the water. Lex Luthor like screwed up and like went to hit him and was just like, ah. <laughs> He's very confident. So he kicks him down the flight of stairs. Uh, and he falls onto more kryptonite. Which, that's a two hundred and what is he thirty pound man? Like yeah. you know, that's that still takes yeah, a lot. He's to still throw, heavy he's to throw him heavy. around, dude. And these henchmen are literally throwing him through rocks. They're beating the shit. It was a pretty brutal <laughs> yeah. beatdown. And well I done. think he might say, "I'm still Superman" when they're beating him up. I watched it on HBO Max after my HD DVD oh, failed me, yeah. and I had the subtitles on. It just says "muffled Superman speech." Oh, that's what I should have done because I actually had problems with the volume on HBO Max. Really? So the dialogue was like super, super low, like lower than normal, and mm. the and everything else got really. I literally had to hit the volume up and down as I was. Well, watching. there there's a problem with movies on streaming things anyway with that, but you might yeah. also want to double check your TV speakers. I will. It could it could be that because they don't. They don't, I know a guy who's like an audio engineer and he was explaining this. They don't like mix 
soundtracks and stuff yeah. with TVs in mind. They're always focused on the theater experience. Yeah. And that's why when you watch TV, you're like, everything is just mixed so poorly. I don't know. When I watch The Flash on Wednesdays night at 8, it's always great. They're still watching The Flash? I know. I'm down to the last season, and I just I know. I'm going to binge it when it's done. I'm going to try and binge it. I. It's really like... Oh after, Christ, after that last Crisis one, I couldn't... Do it after Arrow ended. I'm like, eh. I love those shows. I just, I love the characters. I was a defender for those shows. A lot of people shit on them, and I'm like, no, they actually were really good early on. It was a little yeah. after 2016 where really, things started going down. I just, I really love the Flash. I've been staying up with it. My wedding song, my wedding song <laughs> was uh, Grant Gustin's "Running Home to You." Yeah, thanks, Grant Gustin. No, it was a great show, and then all the writing out. Like Supergirl season one is actually really good, and then season two is the. They're yeah. like, oh, we're on the CW now. We have to change every no, character. And just, I'm like, just what? the first one, yeah. The second one, then they had to start changing it. But I don't know. Still watch a Flash. The writing, you know, is kind of falling off a little bit. But I just want to see how it ends and who they bring back. They're definitely bringing back Arrow and all that. All right, yeah, now I'm when, going when, off distance here. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. When when <laughs> the Flash is done, I will binge the rest of the. Not yeah. Batgirl. I'm skipping Batgirl. Uh, I first might finish, season was good. I, I like might I might season. finish Black Lightning because I actually did enjoy that. I like Black Lightning. Um. Yeah, and I'll finish the others, like Legends of Tomorrow, with Brandon Routh. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I think, is my second favorite It started show. off as the worst, and it got it's really so good. so good, dude. And I might yeah. check out Superman and Lois, just because I hear it's in its own self-contained it's good. thing. I think it's all great, yeah. man. Uh, so he gets stabbed with a piece of kryptonite. Yeah, he does. Uh, and he breaks it off in him, which is pretty brutal. Long piece of crypt kryptonite. Uh, and he throws him off a... Well, he falls off a cliff. He tries to get up to fight, and he falls off the cliff. Should have kicked him. Yeah. He should have kicked him. Should have thrown. And as he's drowning in the water, he's just remembering random things Marlon Brando said. Like, things that aren't even really relevant <laughs> to what's happening at that moment. That was one of my problems. The volume was, like, messing with me. But mm. then I'm... So now I'm, like, really turning it loud. And I'm like, what is this guy saying, right? Yeah. What, I'm like, which part from the movies did they yeah. use here? The human heart is still subject to monstrous deceits. Also, this is, like, Luther's one chance. Aim for a more vital organ. Slit his throat. <laughs> this is your chance. <laughs> Jesus. Like, this is your... You like, are correct, dude. But then Luther is an idiot. So, like, but, he's he's uh, technically yeah. smart, but he's also kind of an idiot. The comebacks to the, to the comics, you know, like, they need each other. You yeah. Know? It's like a Joker Batman thing. Um, you know? Jason spots Superman in the ocean. They pick him up because for some reason Lois is like, we have to go back because... He's, to, I know to he's warn dead. him about the kryptonite. I it's know like, well, guess, dead. guess yeah. what, Lois? He already found out. Plus the, now, And then the husband again. Yeah. Your son's with you in the back. You got your wife and kids safe, but for some reason you're like, well, instead of, you know, dropping okay, them honey. off somewhere and going back, yeah, or calling someone else. Yes. Yeah. Now, we just, uh. not only is this rehashing uh. stuff from the 70s movie, it's rehashing stuff that happened five minutes ago, because now there's another scene where the family's <laughs> in peril and they might die, and then they're okay. Yep. I'm like, we just had this scene. What are yep. we, why are we doing this again? We got to do it again. Yep. So they take a piece of the kryptonite out of him, not all of it, apparently. Uh, and he's like, thank you, Lois. I got to go deal with this now. I'm going to go get charged by the sun. She's yep. like, you'll die. And he's like, meh. Not this time. He should be like, well, whatever. I'm alone. Not like I have a kid or anything. <laughs> also, also, he's like, who spotted me? And then she looks up at the kid and the kid turns and looks. And the dad's still just like. What is happening right now? Yeah. <laughs> so he flies into the sun. He gets supercharged by the sun. Now, I think some people, and how I interpret the scene, because people are like, how did he lift an island of kryptonite? Oh, God. I'm that upset that we're at this part. Now, what I think was happening in this scene. Go ahead. I think because with the laser and everything, his heat vision, I think he went underneath the crust. And I think he's using part of the crust as like a shield. Because you see, as he's putting it up, more rocks are falling off, and you see the green crystals coming through, and he's getting weaker. Yeah. So I think he made, mm. like, a he went underneath the crust and mm. used it as a shield from the kryptonite. I think, yeah. That's what I think. Huh. But it doesn't explain he has a piece of kryptonite in him. He should be really, really weak. So... He did stand on that rock for a good five minutes before he yeah, started feeling weak. Yeah, that's also weird, weak, right? Yeah. That rock is now just aggressively growing, and it's going to not stop growing. Yeah. So I just see it as he just went to the bottom of it mm -hmm. and just started to push it up as it kept on growing out of it. It's just, I know that he ran, he, he flew back in time. And, <laughs> oh yeah, why doesn't he do that 
again. <laughs> change the world. Yeah, why couldn't we just do that again? Well, my theory I'm was I'm sure like, Brian Singer would have been like, well, I'm paying homage. It's all well, good. My, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do that. My whole thing with that That's is like, lot. how I interpret that is like, I don't even think that was something he knew he could do. He just kind of did it. He's like, oh, shit. But like that's a lot of strength to give uh, to give soups here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right at the end and pick it up and throw it, you know, into the into the universe. Well, he can move mm -hmm. planets. I get it, but like, I but don't not know. kryptonite. That's the weird part that it's kryptonite. That's your big final win. Like that, if you would have gave me Brainiac or, or you know one of these other big you know mm. uh, you know alien villains or something like that instead of Lex Luthor, you could have had a big fight at the end. Yeah. Could have done something cool. But with Lex Luthor, that's always like how you end something like that. Like he just threw yeah. a rock into the universe, and now everyone's yeah. safe. Like, I mean, it's I it's an impressive know. effect. That island looks beautiful. It's, it's coming yeah. out of the water. It so, looks really supposedly solid. Supposedly, if they did a second one, that rock had something to do with it. Well, they ended up right. using that idea for a new Krypton in the comics. Oh, okay. That idea was introduced in a deleted scene for this movie, gotcha. and then they ended up using it for the comic. Because what is it? Candor. They opened up Candor yeah. and it grows full size. Huh. I don't know, Perry. Call it New Krypton. He throws the island into space. I assume at some point he's going to be like, by the way, I need to go, before that thing falls back to Earth, I need to make sure it's far enough away. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh I gotta throw God. that thing into the fucking sun. All I can, I'll be back. <laughs> all I can think about is him not getting far enough up, and then it comes back, hits the earth, and then every everyone on the planet is screwed. I do like that moment where he it looks like it's about to fall back, and he's, like, terrified. He's yeah. like, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, he, he turns into Jesus. Yeah. Always, and while this was always, happening, always. while this was happening, he killed Kumar and John Wayne Gacy. Oh, God. Uh, buff John Wayne Gacy. He killed both of them. He dropped a crystal oh, on them on accident. God. I, I love I love how Lex just kind of like stops for a second and just looks back. Yeah. Like, oh, God. So Lex is going out. And then, oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. As they were beating the shit out of him and Superman was dying, Lex's girlfriend feels kind of bad. She does. And then decides she's going to help Superman. Yeah. Like the first movie. <laughs> but yeah, she knocks all the crystals out of the thing. By the way, I would be like, Thanks Kitty, I know you don't want Lex to have the crystals, but that's going to fall in the water, and we're going to be right back. Right. Technically, because that whole thing that they were on collapses, Yeah. as soon as it falls in the water, it should send out another it EMP and turn them all off. Exactly. What happened? Because as soon as she threw them out, I'm like, what are you? You're not helping here, lady. But yeah. I guess they stayed there, and he threw it out. I, 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 I guess they rolled it off to another part, but they didn't hit the water, Again, I guess. Weird weird writing and, and just... yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, he falls to earth, collapses and falls to earth. Yeah. Dash I character. do like, uh, the whole operating scene. Like somehow they're able to rip his suit off. All right. So that's another part I didn't like about this film, dude. Okay. W would you take him to a hospital? Like, is that the move? Like you would take him to a what, did, what did the hospital do? Where else would they take? Took them? out one tiny little piece of kryptonite. Yeah. They like, took out the kryptonite. I don't know. There's got to be, like, you got to have some kind of better ending than that, than he's sitting in a hospital. Well, in this continuity, what else would there be for him? They don't know about the Fortress of Solitude. I they don't guess. They know that the sun helps him, but they don't know how badly damaged he is. Just have him lay there. I would have put bit. him on the roof where the sun was. <laughs> Just have him lay there a little bit, and while the sun's hitting him, and then grabs himself up out of that hole. I don't know. Just, I, I just, I don't know. Mm. I don't like, I don't like the whole Superman being rushed into the hospital, but like, it was I, kind of a cool thing to see. I like the visuals of like everyone in the city like outside mm. brian singer said he wanted to do like a a feeling of like a jfk thing when he was you know mm. uh if the if the president was dying like who would show up so superman's kind of like that big of a yeah. person that you would show up to the hospital that day and mm. like be a part of it all but but um I, it was kind of cool to see like the needle bending and then when they yeah. use the defibrillator it like explodes like that's yeah, kind of cool i do say so, yeah, he's in a coma everyone's sad oh boom there it is Threw him into the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. And the nurses and doctors are, like, trying their best to try to save this guy. You know yeah. why? Why? Because the world needs a Superman. And the doctors and nurses are showing how bad they need him. Yeah. All the people outside of the place showing how bad they need I'd him. I'd be the guy who went. Boom, I'd be the guy who was like, hey, we did, we did fine for five years. Because the world needs a Superman. And, and then I'd also be like, you know, Superman wasn't always around. We were okay. <laughs> Fine. I don't know. I've done fine. <laughs> <laughs> Superman, Perry, what God, Dick, Richard. He was doing great. He seemed unaware of Superman. It was even that big of a deal. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy flying around like the most yeah, amazing thing ever. Dick flies too. Dick's like, I can fly. What are you yeah. done, dude? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so he's in a coma. Everyone's shit. sad. The the Daily Planet has the whole uh, man of, like the, the death of Superman. They have two different articles ready yeah, to go. Thought that was cool. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Superman lives. Yeah. Uh, which was the name of a movie. Kind of cool. Yeah, so everyone's, like, concerned, uh, and Richard's like, you should go visit your ex-boy. I mean your friend, Superman. <laughs> uh, he drives her to the hospital, and she's like, she's like, will they let me in? He's like, you're Lois Lane. Lois Lane. They'll let you. Meanwhile, meanwhile, his, like, Earth mom is just out with the <laughs> yeah. crowd because she can't be like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that's my boy. Uh, yeah. I spent the night with Superman as well. Maybe she should have <laughs> said that. Night with Superman. I'm his mom, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I, I just, you know, the kid gets out of the car with it. Like she, the kid's like, "Mom, I want to go with mom." And then the kid gets out, and you, the dad doesn't say anything. Dad just looks and just. So I think Richard must have known that the kid wasn't his. He must have like met Lois when she was pregnant. She didn't want to say who the father was. They got along. He's like, "Hey, you know what? I'll." I don't think so. I he's like, "Hey, you know what? We'll say the kid is mine." Yeah. But I think he might know that the kid's on him. Yeah. I don't think he knew it was Superman's. I think he's now figuring it out. He's like, oh, yeah. I think Superman might be my kid's dad. Maybe, maybe you are right. Yeah. Maybe there's, just, there's been stuff like that in the past where someone will pretend to be the parent, you know. Yeah, like it knowing happens. knowing of it, but it's still just like as he starts to slowly find out through this film, like there's no dialogue between Lois and mm. and, and, and Dick. Well, that's why I think that's why I like, think like he always knew it wasn't yeah, his kid. He so was he just going to step up and be back. the father. But now but, he's realizing, oh, the, the kid's dad is super well, five Holy years shit. with that woman. You just don't even want to. He must like, really like, like her. They must get along. You just say, oh, where were you? Oh, I was smoking. Oh, OK. That's it. End of conversation. Yeah, I'd have a problem. I, the whole being a dad and everything. I'm fine with that. But the whole like her spending a little too much oh, unless that, he's into it. Uh, unless he's into okay, it. There are right. guys who are into it. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, she goes in there uh, and the kid's like, I like him. I hope he lives. I'm like that's an awkward. I had line. to give him a kiss as well. Yeah, yeah. feels that's some kind of connection with him. Well, I guess the kid knows at this point too. That yeah, it's his dad. And then, and then, I don't think he knows. Well, he pushed a piano. Dick wasn't pushing pianos. Superman pushes pianos. <laughs> that's true. So that's now true. the kid knows. He's like, well, he must be my dad, and my mom must be a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> or my dad must be a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, <laughs> anyway, shit. I'm getting well, fired. he did try to cuck Lois to Superman three. He hooked up with well, he was trying to hook up with Lana Lang, and he hooked up with that uh, evil the evil guy's girlfriend on the Statue of Liberty. Uh, that was awesome. Anyway, God. Um, yeah, so she whispers in his ear, "You are the father." Um, Is that right? That's what she had to say. Yeah, and then the next day he was just like, "Do you have the subtitles on? Does it say what she says?" <laughs> yeah, she's Does she it? says, "You are the father." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he leaves the hospital. Now this is mean of super like the Superman I know, especially this cheesy of a Superman. Yeah. He would have woken up and went around the hospital and went, "You guys did a really good job. I love our medical officials, and thank you. I thank you for helping me." Instead, he's all like, "Instead, he's all like, healthcare in America is really bad. I cannot afford this." Yeah. Uh, I am a Superman is technically yeah. not a citizen and I'm technically an alien. I need to get out of here. He's like, these people didn't know what they were doing. And then just bend instead, he goes to Lois's house. Yeah. Goes into Jason's room and keep in mind, dear Lord, Marlon, Bra he, he does Marlon Brando's entire speech. Yes. He was a baby when that speech happened. And I'm not sure that speech was being recorded at that time, but I'm, he memorized every single word. I'm sure Brando re-recorded it at some point and put it up on crystals somewhere in the cave. It, no, he says it to him as he's putting him into the I ship. Understand. Unless the ship was recording oh, him. That's possible. Oh, yeah, he does That's say possible. it to him while he's putting him in the ship. Oh. It's possible. <laughs> unless he rehearsed with crystals and then told him before he put him in the ship. Yes. Anyway, uh, creepy. What you call it? He decides to say that to his son who was sleeping, who can't hear any of this. That he just snuck into. And he just kind of snuck into their home. Uh, did you notice what his son was wearing? Aquaman PJs. Aquaman pajamas. So there's an there's a Gotham City in this universe and an Aquaman <laughs> in this universe, huh? Well, it would have been nice to know while the oceans were being erupted with. Yeah, Krypton. at some point he should have been like, "Hey, <laughs> Aquaman, like." Did you see this shit? <laughs> at least like some kind of shark or something pops up and Superman has to punch him in the nose. I yeah. don't know. It's in the middle of the ocean. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he does the whole speech and then he's flying outside and she's like, will we see you around? And he goes, I'm always around. And then, and then he pauses and goes, except for that five years where I wasn't. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, dialogue again. Bad yeah. last line. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like. I don't know. There, there had to be. You should something be like. Else you, should, there. you should be like. I'll never leave again. I mean, I'm not like. I'm not a Superman writer, but like, yeah, it's something like that. Mm. Dick's obviously not home. If, she, if yeah, that was weird. If, now I'm noticing he's not home. He's he's not. Weird. He's not home. Lois is out front. She knows that Superman's in there with her kid yep. right now. Like, and then he. Turns into a CGI body double one more time, flies into the sun, l- looks at the camera, smiles, movie's done. Yeah. Now. He flies for a while, actually. He does fly I'm for a while. They for really that wanted final to show. Shot. They, they were mad that the Matrix beat them to the CGI flying a few yeah. years prior. So yeah. we really got to show off our flying here. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that they add the little like sonic boom to him every time. Yeah, it looks good. Um, Man of Steel did it better, but it looks good. Yes. Uh, this movie, I, I still enjoy a lot of this movie. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it as much as I did when I first watched it. I was real hyped now that the hype was worn off after how many goddamn years. Yeah. Uh, it is weak. It is weak. And it's not what you need at the time. Like you said, they should have done a more action heavy. Yeah. Super. You could still have Lex Luthor. I like how Lex Luthor is used in Superman too, where like he's still technically a bad guy, but he's not like the muscle. Yeah. There's some, there's a physical presence for him to fight. Put in a different um, way. Yeah, they should have had a more action. They should have reintroduced. A, they should have introduced the new Superman, not rehashed one. Agreed. Because that Batman did really well with that. Yeah. Uh, they should have had a big fight scene. Yep. You know, just fight scene and stuff. And by the time they did it, they finally did do it in 2013, and it sucked. Yeah. Now, if you want to see this story done well, around that time after uh, Infinite Crisis, they did Superman Up, Up and Away. Yeah. Written by Jeff Johns. Nice. Are we allowed to like him still? I'm not. Uh, his work's great. I'm, I don't know what he did. I'm just not. I yeah, he was like kind of in charge of DC, but I don't like know he what really Kevin dropped Spacey the ball. Or Brian Singer did. He no, 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 no. He didn't do anything like that. What? It's just his his <laughs> his work on the movies wasn't that good. Oh, he's Jesus. a great comic writer, but like Wonder Woman 84. I don't know who's doing what these days, man. Somebody's mad at everybody for no, 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 no. He's like a great comic I writer, like Jeff but like John's, yeah, he was also working on uh, like some of the CW shows too, wasn't he? Wasn't he helping put some of that together? Something no, like that was Greg Berlanti. Greg Berlanti, there it is. Um, but there, there are people that Lord are saying Greg. Jeff Johns is using, like, he keeps encouraging them to adapt, like, his story so he gets, like, royalties and whatnot. Gotcha. Anyway, um, this story is really, really good. So Superman, remember after Infinite Crisis, he lost his powers. Yep. So they did all these one-year-later stories, and this was Superman's. And it's basically like he's just been Clark Kent for a year. And he starts... Have you ever read this? I don't think so. Oh, it's good. It's I read good. Infinite Crisis. I haven't read Yeah, that. so after Infinite Crisis, this is his one year later story. So this is basically him being like, oh, I've learned how to just be Clark Kent, but now hmm. I'm slowly getting my superpowers back. Yeah. He is... Lex Luthor is the bad guy in this, right? He does do a plan with crystals. No. They work in the crystals because they knew the movie was coming out at that time. However... Oh, uh, so okay. Right however... Right. He makes a crystal crystal robot suit that Superman then has to punch and fight. Yeah, is is Lex in there? Yeah, Lex is okay. in there. If he's in there, then hell yeah, I'm down with that. That would have been awesome. Yes. Yeah. So this literally takes the idea of Superman Returns because again they knew about it. They're like, oh, yeah. let's do because whenever a movie's but about to like, come out, they yeah. try to release a comic or make a comic that's going to be somewhat similar. Yeah. And this nailed it. If you like the idea of Superman Returns, of a that's Superman cool. returning to the public, yeah. this is the way to go. This is really, really good. And you give Lex his exoskeleton suit. Great. Yeah, that and if been... you're a fan, it's like, you know Lex has a suit, yeah. and that's like the upgrade that of it. That would have been dope, dude. Like, something great like that. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree yeah. with you. Like, you know, add... Especially if the last time that you had Superman on there, it was like, you know, like special effects weren't great and all that in mm-hmm. films. And now you're finally building towards something like that. You just, you know, you had the Matrix movies, the Lord yeah. of the Rings stuff all coming out. Yeah. Give me an epic Superman fight. Like bring in bring in yeah. a really good story and, and and go a little bit over the top with it. This and I'm not saying a Superman story needs fight because I no. still love the first one. No. But if you're trying to compete with more superhero stuff now... But nobody like I, yeah. They, it's you're you're going back to the Donner field where it's like a, a like the first one where it's like you know a romance and mm-hmm. you know it's taking its time with it and you know you don't have great CGI so you're not gonna have mm-hmm. crazy big fights you're just gonna have them spin the world around backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know now you have all this you know technology 2006 like yeah. it's really booming. Do something. But then I also have a problem. Awesome. Well, I have many problems. With Man of Steel. But Man of Steel did another one like they're like oh we're gonna do General Zod. It's like. General Zod got popular because of the movies. But they were restarting, like, kind of a... I'm just saying, there's so many... Like, I think in this one, 
he fights like some villain that's made out of puzzle pieces. I forget their name. Uh, and it's actually pretty funny because they can like break apart their body yeah. and his powers aren't all back. So he just yeah. like uses his cape as a net to capture them. I mean, but like you could have had him s starting fighting like someone like a Metallo, yeah. something like other characters. I mean, I'm hoping to get that in, in James Gunn's new universe. Yes, I'm I mean? excited. It's called Superman Legacy. I would what I would like. I saw the montage for Superman and Lois. I would like something like that. Something that brings us up to speed. Yeah. It's like, hey, Superman, you know, planet, boom, there, you land it, became Superman. Here's a here's Great. some highlights of other things that he fought, and yeah. then the main story starts. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah. I mean, you, you really don't even have to do all that. You I just, mean, Spider-Man didn't even do the origin at all this yeah, time. They just, just mentioned it. Throw you right in the mix. Everyone by this point knows who Superman is and, and what his origin is. It worked for ba is. Batman. worked because yeah. we all know his origin now. We're good. Yeah, and I mean, if you if you want to, you know, somewhere down the line, two, three movies down the line, you know, to want to connect something with his childhood, then yeah, mm. then maybe have some flashbacks then. But your first film right out the gate should be, you know, something something very bright, colorful, wonderful, big action scenes and a different. Yeah, have have a Lex Luthor in there. But just let the people know that he's in the world. Yeah, like he doesn't need to be the villain anymore. Especially after that Jesse Eisenberg one, we need a really good Lex. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm begging for a really good Lex after that, especially if you're going to build a universe around yeah. it. But start it with something different and then, you know, just like, you know, halfway through the film or, you know, trinkle through the film just a little bit, you know, that Lex does exist. And yeah. just cast somebody that's strong, good, and with a deep voice, please. Like, please. Make it oh, more like the Superman God. the Animated Series one. I hope James Gunn does a good job. Yeah, dude, dude, I'm a dude, little I'm a little burnt out on mainstream superhero stuff already. I feel like DC is late to the party on this one. I don't know. But I'll give it a shot. I'm more I'm this is the most I've been excited for modern DC things. Yeah. yeah I wasn't yeah. even excited for the Batman, but now I'm excited for the sequel to that. Yeah, yeah I agree. So yeah, I'll see it. Uh you're right. The, he should be fighting more people. Let's see some people that we haven't seen in movie. Well, we haven't seen anyone. Parasite would be a good one. Brainiac would be great. Brainiac would be great. I feel like Brainiac is one you might want to work up Brainiac to. Brainiac would be great, especially with, you know, the world and mind control and this yeah. and that these days. But like Parasite would with. be an interesting one. Parasite yeah. would be really, really fun. Livewire could be cool. There's Live so Wire. many other cool characters. I agree. And I, I just, I don't think that the world's like really getting superhero fatigue. I think it's like more or less like just give us good stories. Yeah. People are tired of like, I mean, Marvel for so many years had great buildups with great characters mm. and good stories that you cared about. Yeah. Now it's like you're kind of restarting a new generation of it all and mm. people just, you know, you, you got to grasp them a little You're bit. We're kind harder. of tapping out at this point. But I mean, what have you got, dude? Thor, Love and Thunder, you got like, you oh, know. God. I mean, and then DC, you can't even go there because, yeah, it's been shite for, you know, yeah. for, for so They have a good one here and there. I like Shazam. I like Aquaman. I like Shazam as well. I like Aquaman. I didn't even mind the Harley Quinn movie that much. Wonder that. Woman 1 was good, but Wonder Woman 2 okay. was bad. Yeah. I just want the universe to be good man and we'll i see. i, I love the i love dc comics grew up on it i mean it's the dream to be cast by dc you mm -hmm. know what i mean like that was always like the dream to you know to get up there i love, love well i mean we were both cast by dc so. oh god i just uh they're shooting joker 2 right now are there. you gonna get it <laughs> are you gonna get it this time no, you better get it this time no i didn't even apply for it if, if this uh, is the first time you're seeing it famously frank uh, shot a scene for joker and I was it, I was background for Joker five, and did it, five and did, years ago, and they cut me out of it. The they, funny thing is, uh, if they had included your seed, you would have rubbed that in my face forever. Because like, that I was the DC in movie. Yeah. I mean, you can barely you can't see, see me, yeah. but it's still the best one. But you would have seen my face. But you would have actually had a scene like with walking <laughs> shoulder to shoulder with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> you see the person in front of me. They cut it. You see the person behind me. And I looked at that movie and I was like, you son of a bitch. Uh, he's he's dead now, but there was a comedian called Brody Stevens and he used to do this funny bit where he would brag about himself and he'd be like, he'd be like, oh, you know how many movies I was in? Hangover 1, Hangover 2, cut out of funny people. He would brag about the one he was cut out of. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, but bad. yes, that was... The first oh, yeah. time Superman returned, not really the first time he returned, but the, the first mainstream Superman returns. And he's been returning since then. And I can't wait for the future of failed Supermans, followed up by more Supermen return. <laughs> oh, uh, but Frank, thanks for uh, joining me. For this trip down memory like lane, like Jesus, there are you trying to I, put uh, a metaphor? I just threw out an there? I, in between cuts. I threw an island into the sky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> uh, yes, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. A lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the new store. It's I, a real store. It so. looks, looks great, man. I can't believe nobody's walked in this whole entire time while we've been here. That business isn't good. Uh, um, yes. A lot of good stuff to buy. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you for having me. It's, no. it's been a blast, man. I love Superman Returns. <laughs> it's good that I returned. Look, we do have on our schedule at some point, we're doing those Burton Batman movies. We're ready to revisit those Burton Batman movies. I'm in, dude. And when you will really, really want to break down Man of Steel... I'm your guy. I will return for you. Maybe closer to Superman Legacy when, yeah, yeah. when they start making those. Maybe we'll do... <laughs> yeah. We should do, like, worse Superman. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, jeez. That'd be know. fun. Bring me back for the Batman films. I'll come shoot the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work but on yes, that. Uh, we, we plan on doing Batman and Batman Returns just in time for the return of Michael Keaton. He's going to embarrass himself. Oh, are you God. excited to see him embarrass himself? I, he's not, I think he's going to embarrass himself. Who are you himself? more excited to see embarrass themselves? Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones or Michael Keaton as elderly Batman? Uh, I, I mean, I don't think Michael Keaton's going to embarrass himself. No, he's definitely going to embarrass himself. I'm more excited for Michael Keaton because Harrison Ford already embarrassed himself. Why, because they're, they're in their 80s? Like, yes, because they're dinosaurs. Uh, he's Batman. Ford, Harrison Ford also embarrassed already embarrassed himself in Indy 4 and he embarrassed himself as Han Solo. So I'm kind of yeah. over him embarrassing himself. I'm real excited for Michael Keaton to embarrass himself as elderly Batman and I can't wait to talk about it. And Batman I'm, 89 and Batman Returns with you. I think he's going to kill it. I think he's going to be no. great. Uh, and people might be wondering, <laughs> Tony, why aren't you inviting superheroes to the store only to have them tragically die? And the answer is this slat wall is actually drilled into the actual walls now. And I'll, it would be bad news if these things broke. So I might have to retire that gag. I'm not sure. Or I'm going to get a more lightweight <laughs> dummy. I mean, real person. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> or maybe we can CGI some rubbery ones coming through right now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like, share, subscribe, join the Patreon and do all that fun stuff. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.